What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagger 2. It's your boy, Schultz. I'm here with Akash Singh, Alex Media, Mark Gagnon, and a truffle. What's up? Um, and I, I figured something out today that I've probably known for like a long time, Akash. Yeah. But, um, yeah. What's that? I, um, I am a, I'm a crazy person. Mm. Uh-huh. Like, I'm crazy. That is my this is news. normal state. This yeah. is news. Uh, I can exercise myself to the point where I can masquerade as a normal person. I think uh. you're giving yourself a lot of credit there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you masquerade as well as you think you do. So I'm still crazy? <laughs> you're still crazy. <laughs> Even now, in my current state? Right now, you're good. That's what I'm saying. But you're a pibble. It's a temporary good. Yeah, you can snap at any moment. Yeah, there it is. That's the words I'm looking for. Yeah. You so can snap at any moment. Yeah. Queen Latifah's dog is dead. <laughs> yeah. She catches me on the wrong day. You're correct. Yeah. Okay, but th- this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I got this crazy workout. Shouts to my uh, my boxing trainer, Abdeen, which is my trainer, trainer Abdeen. And uh, and I, I mean, I was destroyed. I was like crawling around the gym. I just looked that's absolutely good. pathetic, but that's what I need. You need that. And yeah, I need that to calm this down. Yeah. And now I feel pretty calm. Yeah, you're a hyper yeah. dog. You need to get I, walked. I need to be run. You're like a fucking yeah. Labrador or like a Greyhound. You, you just know, need to get run. You know what's interesting, though? We only say that with dogs because every other animal just does that. Yeah, but they're not Nobody's domesticated. Nobody's like, you got to run the deer. Yeah, we've yeah, domesticated yeah, the right. dog, so now we got to make it be more of a dog so it can yeah, be normal. Correct. We've domesticated humans. Yeah. I'm supposed to be getting a little bit more activity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm a Scottish kid, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm supposed to be you running to be around in the, the highlands. highlands. Yeah, 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 Scottish yeah. hound. Mm. Exactly. I'm supposed to be moving, shaking. It's yes. fucking grass. It's mountains. I'm swimming. That's your biology. That's my biology. Yeah. Okay? But... I'm put in the city where I'm walking around. Uh, I'm on my electric. Wearing pants and shit. I'm wearing pants, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, you should be in a kilt hunting. I should be fucking hunting in a kilt. And then you I and think Russell I'll be Westbrook calm. should dress the same. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I need to dress like Russell Westbrook. Yes. Yeah. I'm not even going to bring up the cultural appropriation thing. They think my culture is a joke. It's not a dude, joke. Black people think my fucking culture is a joke. <laughs> it's not a fashion okay? piece. It's not Kanye a... <laughs> Russell. It's not a trend. Top yeah, this is not on. a fucking trend. This yeah. is who we are. Yeah, I mean, I don't see you rocking it. Say what? I don't see you rocking it. Oh, because I live in a black world, Alex. <laughs> okay, in order to be accepted, <laughs> hey, hey, I have to, <laughs> I have to adopt certain things so that people don't think I'm weird. Like yeah, a okay? free Britney shirt. It's like a free Britney <laughs> very shirt. Very black. Yeah, trying absolutely. To conform, yeah. Okay, yeah. who cares more about Britney? Uh-huh. Who cares more about a you, mentally ill white girl? <laughs> Than black men, yes. okay? Usually, Shout out to Catch Me Outside. Usually, when we have, <laughs> usually when we have somebody on our shirt, it's usually R.I.P., but I'll give it out. <laughs> I'll give it out. No, you be trying to free people on shirts when Lil Wayne was in prison, free Weezy. Uh, yeah. uh, you be trying to free people. Yeah. So it's death or jail? Death yeah, or yeah, jail. Death jail. You get a shirt. Death, jail, sports. I guess yeah. she was put in on jail. Why people jail just be putting sorts. live people on shirts? This is white people's yeah. jail, though. She was grounded for super long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. in a room, pissed. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Her parents don't give her enough freedom. I hate you, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just angsty. We're about to find out that that dad was a hero. You think so? She's 39 <sighs> years old. She's about to marry this 27 year old guy. Sounds that she's been with for five years. Yeah. yeah. Right. So like. And if she is bona fide crazy, like if she actually is, and I hope she's not. But I'm an if, asshole. I keep liking all her crazy posts because yeah, I, I see you liking it. I just want to encourage the crazy. Why are you this, she bro? threw the cheeks up on the gram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't you even get that. That deserves oh, a double tap. No, you know she's crazy because she was like, "My ass is real." It's like it's believable. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody doubting that, shorty. Yeah. <laughs> Them honkers might not be. <laughs> Remember when she got honkers out of nowhere? Really? Out of she nowhere? So I thought she'd been had the whole we time. When we were young, she got honkers out of nowhere, and people were like, I think Britney got breast implants. And then it was like, no, you just started watching her at 14, you fucking creep. <laughs> yeah. She didn't have titties yet when yeah, it was she was on the Mickey Mouse Club. Club. Like, yeah. what are we talking about? <laughs> was she a Disney star? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't. I thought her sister yeah, was I Disney. Yeah, it was only the sister. And no, I, they, think, they both I think they were. both were. Yeah. Oh, I only and knew her from Christina Aguilera. I know Christina. And JT. And JT. TRL. TRL broke her, bro. The greatest A&R in the game. Carson Daly. Yeah, Two fingernails painted. Oh. Uh, Legend. Oh, I, I know he did that. <laughs> yeah, he did that. Yeah, shit. he did a lot nah, of Now, she might have got breast implants, bro. She may have. But look, uh, they worked out. The, um, yeah, man, I don't know. I just thought about that today. Like, what? There's a couple things I, 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 I thought about that I want to get off my chest. I want to talk to you guys about. The other thing that I thought about, because I've been, I've been diving into Rome a little bit, the Roman Empire. I saw you tweet about this. I was wondering uh-huh. where this came from. My mind was blown. Because I'm I'm starting to research the Roman Empire, and you always hear about like these uh, the things that are happening in the the big stadium. What the fuck was it called? The Colosseum. Colosseum. The Colosseum. Okay. 
<laughs> things are happening. To co- I'm not even researching that much, apparently. But like, <laughs> yeah. all these things. The, the Barclays the of Rome. What right? is it called again? <laughs> exactly. And then they make. Uh, don't ever say the Barclays of Rome ever again. The disrespect what? to the. It garden. wasn't that nice. The, bro. the, the Coliseum the gar- wasn't that nice. It's the only one there was. Exactly. It was open air. You know what I mean? Son, if it was the oh, Garden of, of Rome, it'd be way nicer. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want a dome back? <laughs> it's yeah. the year yeah. 27. Also, people oh, are getting massacred in the Coliseum. Nick's getting massacred in the Garden. Exactly. It makes perfect. It makes sense. Way more massacred. So. Uh, yeah, the visitors were massacred yeah. too. Like the animals would come in. They were playing away games. Tigers just yeah. like mauling these fucking Romans. Yeah, the Romans are the Knicks. So I'm looking up this Roman Empire, right? And you always see this big thing, and they make such a big deal about like, oh, they had these like waterways under there, and they could have these uh, these ships floating and all that other stuff. And they make that seem like it's the biggest invention that's ever happened it's in history. Pretty wild. It's kind of wild, right? <laughs> it's kind of wild. It's, it's like pretty wild. It, it's, it's impressive, but but let's just back up for one more second, right? I got cousins don't got aqueducts now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you're <laughs> yeah. pathetic. Your people are pathetic. Yeah. There's yeah. no yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the cousins here in America, we smelled them. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the wedding. <laughs> no, no, no they don't shower out of respect, man. Fair they enough. can't rub the well in a home plant's yeah. face. You know That's what the mean? biology, bro. God. So, so um, okay, so yes, it's obviously impressive for the time, the aqueducts, 100%. But when I'm looking at these, and they make a big deal. The ships, they make a big deal about like the humans fighting the tigers right. and humans fighting these elephants and all the things that would happen inside the Coliseum, mm-hmm. right? And then I'm, I'm looking at these videos and it dawned on me, I'm like, how the fuck did they get these animals to Rome? I'm going, you have a rhinoceros. They had a rhinoceros. This is one of the most dangerous animals on the planet now. Mm-hmm. 2,000 years ago. Some Romans transported a rhinoceros. This is before I just shoot you with some tranquilizer. You pass out for a fucking month, and then now you're in Rome. Like, this is what they do with King Kong, right? Mm. They shoot him with the trank <laughs> to get the guy over there. And this is in now in fake, yeah. right? Back in the day, and it's not like they had fucking Hummers or nothing like that. You are hauling a rhinoceros, an elephant, tigers, lions from other parts of the world to Rome. That's the most fucking impressive thing. I mean, it's, it's mind boggling. Yeah. This is how crazy it is. They had, at one point, at one festival, 2,000 gladiators, 70 lions, 40 wild horses, 30 elephants, Come on. 30 leopards, Come on. 20 wild donkeys, 19 giraffes, 10, 10 antelopes, 10 hyenas, Come and 10 on, tigers, son. one hippo, and one rhino. Son, it's so crazy. No, put Their all that ability. on one ship, dog. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you a Bible boy. You know what it is. This shit ain't impressive. It's so crazy. That's what they did. Yeah. That, that, they scooped up so many animals from around the world that animals started to go extinct. Yeah. Now animals go extinct. And we're like, all right, well, we got all these machines. You're scooping up all the fish from the water. You poaching. see conspiracy. You see all the poach and this and that. We're talking about dudes in sandals and the skirts with the pointy bottoms running around <laughs> getting fucking dangerous ant- lions mm. gone from Greece. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, holy shit, how the fuck did they do this? So I'm watching this video. You know how they would get the tigers? Hmm. Hmm. This is the ballsiest shit in the world. How the fuck do we not have movies made about this? Fuck Morpheus. So what was the guy in the Coliseum? No, that's Matrix. <laughs> yeah, just the Matrix. Don't no, no, say right? fuck Morpheus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put some respect on Maximus, Matrix, Decimus, Decimus Maximus, Meridius. Yeah, fucking Maximus. Fuck Commander Maximus. of the armies of the north. Fuck Maximus. <laughs> I don't know how I remember right? that. Light work, the Maximus shit. This Father. is what they would do. You want tigers? You're in Africa, right? You going to get these tigers? Okay. You are on a horse. What's faster than a horse? A fucking tiger. Mm. You got to get the cubs. So what you do is when the mom walks away from the cubs, you scoop up all the fucking cubs, right? You start rolling on a horse, right? The tiger mom starts to catch up. You drop (laughs) one cub. The mom instinctually grabs the cub, takes it back to the nest, then runs after you again. You keep moving. You drop another cub. Mm. You keep dropping cubs until eventually you're far enough away or she runs out of energy and maybe you got one or two and then you bring those back. Oh. Son, how many motherfuckers had to die? How many motherfuckers had to die in order for them to lose use yeah, that thing? I know, I know. Uh, really? Is this what you're doing? This is your thing? Really? Is this how you're this is, up, this yo, is your you stick? Just kidnapping <laughs> little is this your stick yo. today? I'm gonna be unimpressed by the most impressive things. This it's is your comedic that impressive, stick. Yo. The Coliseum's crazy impressive. Indoor plumbing yeah. back then is crazy impressive. Yeah, yeah he's you're talking about stealing in, babies. The fucking they stole children yo, and animals. Indoor plumbing is the easiest thing. The reason why they didn't invent it is because people were terrified of water. Not because it was hard. You take the water, you put it in shit. Water killed people back in the day. So you're like, why would I put it in things? They had clean <laughs> water. Retard. No, 
water didn't have clean water. All water killed people. So water stopped so killing what? people. Water just killing everybody. Water, water just, just killing everybody. Water killed people back in the day. People wouldn't drink water. Babies would drink cider. They drink alcoholic cider. You give it to a baby because so water. So aqueducts would are just kill killing everybody. <laughs> no, motherfucker. You had to move the ships on something. But having water is easy. <laughs> so the aqueducts were giving them water that wasn't so drinkable. Nobody, yeah, they weren't potable. drinking water. They weren't drinking water. So back nobody in the day. drunk water? No, they drank <laughs> alcohol. People drank alcohol until like the 1500s or some shit like that. Dude, once they start... They, literally from water... From when until when? Because it wasn't from the dawn of time until 1500s. I, know, like I do believe there was a time grade. period yeah. where people thought water could kill you. It did kill you. But I also time. think having indoor plumbing is pretty fucking crazy. The sun they king. just gamed the fucking mom the lion. The end of the Sun King. After the Sun King in France, they started they started going, all right, maybe we could drink some water. And then they would do like tea and coffee and that kind of stuff because it was heated up. But they had this huge distrust of water. Couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. And then I looked this shit up. Who was the first so culture to really fuck awesome. with tea? The I, Muzzies. I assume us. Muzzies yeah. have their intellectual breakthrough after coffee. Oh, son! If you look at this, is the crazy thing. I'm like getting into my YouTube conspiracy <laughs> shit again, bro. Imagine this. Imagine your society, right? And you're just drinking alcohol all day. That's all you do is drink yeah. alcohol, and then you switch from alcohol to coffee. Think of the productivity. Yeah, through you go roof. from being drunk all day through the roof, through the roof, and that's where you have these like uh, you know these breakthroughs of intelligentsia. You have these French people thinking of ideas all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> right? When they're not just letting food just rot because they're drunk all day. Like, oh, I guess it's cheese. Yeah. That's marvelous. I Coffee. can't believe you think cheese is more impressive than bringing a Coffee. fucking rhinoceros from South not Sudan cheese. to Rome. <laughs> Coffee. You know why? Because they're just gaming the mother it's lion's instincts. It's you just take advantage of her instincts. That's all. I was with you until you said people never drink water yeah, until like, years ago. Stupid. They they drink drink water. Nah, you were with him before that. You and I looked at each other. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was it, but then he's he like, ah, water. Right. so I was people like, drink water. You know what he's doing? So what? Like, yeah, he's been winning with it. Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? The sixties. People didn't drink water. People didn't drink water until the industrial revolution. This has to be one of the dumbest takes you ever had. People didn't drink water. People didn't drink water. You said you could do brain surgery. People didn't drink water. <laughs> until honestly until the dust bowl all right guys yo asshole army special announcement first of all thank you so much to everybody that copped season three of fashion that shit was absolutely crazy literally our biggest season ever doubled last season mm. like just unbelievable uh we called up the uh the guys who are making it and fulfilling all the orders and then and we said we we forced them to get one more day okay we said, you do whatever the fuck you have to do to go find supply. I don't care where you got to go get it. Find the fucking supply. That is your job. Killer merch, they've been absolutely killing it. But find the fucking supply. Give them 24 hours. Go get it if you haven't got it just yet. Fashion.shop. Uh, go there right now. I know that a few of the items have already sold out. We're doing whatever we can to make sure that we can fulfill them. Certain things just had to go. You know, a lot of those triple XL, double XL, you fat fucks, y'all scooped up that fashion real quick. And they're trying to source your sizes. It's difficult, okay? But thank y'all so much for supporting fashion.shop. You literally have until Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. That's what we asked them. We're like, just give it until Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. Go out there. Get that shit, fashion.shop. Thank y'all so much for supporting that. I just can't believe <laughs> that, that, that you are going to take the position of it's not impressive to take a rhinoceros anywhere. Even now. They just stole cubs, yo. I thought they were taking grown ass animals on there. That's where I was like, hold on, I want to hear where this is going. So I just felt a bit let Bravo. down. I thought, how are they going to game this fucking fast ass lion onto a boat? Or just shoot the parents and steal the cubs. They didn't have bullets back then. Uh, arrows. I'll do, say what you just said again. Arrows. Say what you just said again. Shoot the mother and yeah. steal the cubs. Yeah. With mm -hmm. arrows? Yeah. Shoot an arrow into an elephant. Shoot an arrow into a rhinoceros. No, a lion. We're talking lion. We're talking about rhinoceros. We're, no, I, was talking, I was talking. Now, I just said lion. Oh, I now, just said lion. Now you're moving to goalposts. I just said lion. Also, how do <laughs> you know you're going to hit the... What if you hit it and then it just comes at you? You got the quick reload? They, You're not fucking Achilles out here, dog. Hey, take they a few more. They your ass. Stop. And think Maximum. about it. You can't even go away on the, the Jeep Wrangler. You got a horse, and a horse looking at you like, fam, I'm not faster than a fucking lion. It's over. You're dead. Mm. Now you guys are getting multiple, on board. Multiple people, multiple people, multiple people taking shots. Yeah. So I thought it were going to get fucking adult animals onto this boat. 
Son, I, I can't. Yeah, they I, stole I can't baby. entertain they stole right? baby, not, dog. No, that's not that is Your no, lack of entertainment. No, they're fucking Jamie Spears with animals. That's all they are. They're just taking a bunch of animals and then fucking holding them captive. That's it. I, I bunch cannot, of babies. I this is. I, I cannot even. I can't play Cubs. along. Cubs. I can't even play along. I can't play along. It's an interesting comedic approach. It's but not I can't, a comedic I can't, approach. I can't, Fuck I can't, you. I can't play along. Fuck you. I can't, it's, well, it's an interesting comedic sucks. approach. It's, 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 it's the story of the greatest empire in the world. Because of the fucking animals? Yes. <laughs> not the Coliseum? Nothing else is important. Oh, oh, building architect, things. Architectural building marbles things. that lasted for 2,000 years. Building things is Who nothing. Who gives a fuck? Rocks are heavy. They Baby don't go tigers. anywhere. Tigers. Rocks are heavy. They don't go anywhere. Oh, my God. Rocks are heavy. They don't go anywhere. How they build it? Rhinoceri? They can move. If you built the fucking pyramids out how of rhinoceri, that's how respect. How they build the Coliseum? There's no cranes back how then. How they build the There's Coliseum? There's no construction equipment. Just a couple of slaves doing the damn Italians thing. Italians are still building things in New York. It's what they do. Yeah, but they got equipment. <laughs> They're now. standing on the side of the road, building shit, harassing women walk by. Same thing has been happening for the last two thousand years. That's impressive. Yes. No. Yes, they had no, no. equipment. Italians are fucking union equipment. workers now. What do you need? This is it. You need equipment for that? You need equipment to lift a fucking rock and put what? it somewhere? What? Are we crazy? What the hell are you talking about right now? Now you care about equipment. They didn't have equipment. You don't about? care about the equipment I'm for rhinoceros? I'm using your same argument against you. You don't care about the equipment for rhinoceros? I'm using your same... No, I don't. I'd much rather... You build a fucking coliseum without equipment or you steal a baby animal without equipment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The rocks don't fight back. The rocks are at least heavy. You just pick up a couple of rocks. Rhinoceros isn't heavy? Son, How do you son, describe fat I'm bitches? A rhinoceros, not rock. Baby one. You see shit. a girl, you're like, oh, Yo, she looked like a rhinoceros. She don't son. look like a rock from the Coliseum. I could have did that son. shit. Me and Mark could grab a baby rhinoceros right now. And then <laughs> what happens when the mom comes through with the son, horn? Yo, take that motherfucker down. Throw some rocks at her or something. Yeah. So, see, you can throw the rocks. See? You uh, see what I'm saying? You're uh, using the rocks as weapons. A baby rhinoceri is a very wrong, funny bro. way to say it. Uh, a baby rhinoceri is a very funny way to say it. Yeah. But yeah. I'm with it. It's just babies. <laughs> that is you see what he's take. doing? I, you see what he, he You got his back and he's still shitting I on you. Yeah, I know. I said it was funny. You got his back with his fake argument and he's still shitting on you. That's what he's been doing, bro. It's not a fake argument. Yours is a fake argument. No, mine is real. It's impressive to get a rhinoceros from Sudan to Okay. It's a what do you baby, feed it? What dog. do you feed it? What do you feed it? You know what rhinoceros eat? Who gives a fuck? Feed them what you're eating. It's spaghetti. You feed it spaghetti. Akash, do you know what's happening? It's the year negative 27. Yeah. yeah they, the rhinoceros can it's drink the water. It's negative 27 can't. out here. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. They went to the Sudan. Yeah. Okay? Oh, okay. Sudan isn't even Sudan. It's just desert. Sudan is still barely Sudan. Exactly. Time. So imagine back then. You got to deal with all that Sudanese shit. Mm. Times 10. Okay? <laughs> Now it's crazy to go to Sudan. Imagine you went to Sudan right now to get a rhinoceros. Motherfuckers go crazy. Back then? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay? The fact that you're giving pushback on this is, is, is mind-boggling. They might have got the rhinoceros, it's mind-boggling. rhinoceros drunk. If I said it was anything so the Indians did, oh my God, it'd be the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> I'd oh be God. lying to myself. I would be lying to me. I'd well, be with you. you. To me. I'd be with you, but now I'd be like, this ain't really that impressive, huh? <laughs> What's something impressive? Building a fucking circle out of stones. The pyramids. Even English people could do that. White people did that shit. Yeah, y'all did that That's shit. That's how yo. easy that shit is. Yeah, that, uh, Romans so. are white people. Say what? Romans are white people. Everything you're I'm talking guessing, about British white people. Real white people. <laughs> Stonehenge. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Italians. They're so fucking not I mean, they're, white. They're at least whiter than whites. <laughs> Sicilians maybe. They just maybe. became white in like 1930. Sicilians maybe. <laughs> these fucking Italians we got now, these espresso drinking fucks up in Florence... Those are white people. Yeah. We don't know. We Jersey, don't know. Jersey they Shore just whites became are white. Son. Jersey, Jersey became, Shore whites son, are white. We son. didn't consider Irish people white. Yeah, they were late and converts. And that's where white is from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like white, not everybody gets to be white. Y'all are going to get there. <laughs> Y'all are going to get there. I don't, I'm good. Hey, I don't if, want to. I'm, I'm good. good. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if these Mexicans keep making babies, y'all going to be white very quickly. No, they just started with Latinos. They started making the, Latinos. The Latinos. 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 separate. Like, divide and they conquer. They start getting... Um, divide and conquer. Yeah. White, they have non... They have white and non-white Hispanic to know, on the I census. I like that. I wanted they to should. be with you. So I did. I, no, you I was hyped, dog. No, you I was hyped. Stupid. I'm no, serious. I'm an honest you man. Have no <laughs> you have no respect for animals. You want me to give you the... Uh, you have no respect for animals. No, the solution I love animals. Don't steal children, Please, please. To dig into Roman uh, literature yeah, while yeah, yeah, we were yeah, waiting yeah, for this uh, twenty-minute discussion, but <laughs> <laughs> for the elephants, guys on horseback would basically lead and charge them into pre-dugout pits. That, yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah. Then the elephants would end up in the pits, and then they wouldn't feed it, 
or give them water, but we, I guess no one drank back then, so yeah. they would get physically de depleted. Elephants drank, elephants drank then, champagne. And Is then they true? would capture it. And then with bears, they would go into like... They had bears! Okay, the way they do bears... <laughs> light word. Bear would bear. be in the bear den. A I'm bear listening in the for bear bears. Den. They would fire off some trumpets. The bear would be disoriented. Yep. Then they'd lead them into a predetermined <laughs> net, catch yes. them, and then take the limbs and tie them to wooden planks. Now you got a bear with light little, work, little boards. Light work. That is, this is that's so impressive. Work. Did you see what a bear that did to Leo in the Revenant? Did you see children. what the bear did to Leo in the Revenant? And Leo should have dug that a hole. That impresses me more. This is 2,000 years before Revenant. That's not that, even close. No, no, no. That's, that's not definitely even fucking close. more impressive. 2,000 years before Revenant, I was Leo never hunted. Was never He's hunted a fucking hunter. Son, they dug a hole and starved the animal, son. That is not that impressive. Bro, you, you never, never done that to a girlfriend who was gaining a little weight. <laughs> <laughs> More pits. Ow. They caught the elephants. No. You, never, you never got a girl back into competition shape. Ow. Yo, the bear you know shit I mean? is impressive. Yeah. You never had a girl had to, had to, had to drop weight because you had a big party coming up get or something like in the that. Basement. Yo, get, get me some in the basement, please. Man, lock the door. <laughs> I'll give you bears. Bears is impressive. Lions, they do the How pits. How is bears more impressive than a rhinoceros? Do you what, know what, what a rhinoceros is? I think giraffes are most impressive. Okay, go. You got to build a super big cage. Thank you. The tallest cage ever. Thank you. Like, literally? <laughs> what? Just let it... I'm with him on Think this. about There's how tall so, that, go, 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 that go, go, cage go. is so tall. Like, it's so crazy Who's tall. building a cage that tall? They and it's really thin. It's skinny you and tall. You never built a cage? They don't even fight back. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, You've never seen a bull giraffe fight? <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen a bull giraffe fight? Yeah. That shit is like fucking Will Smith's daughter. It's just whip your hair back and forth, dog. Yeah, Seriously, that's how they fight. They headbutt. Uh -huh. That long neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got to get pretty far down. They there. do it. They the golf, bro. That's fucking top golf. They're, They're dangerous wacky. animals, bro. Yeah. You don't respect animals. No, you don't respect you nature. No, I sure like, don't. Fuck all the other Roman accomplishments. This is the one. Nothing they've they done is impressive. They steal cubs. Nothing they've done is impressive outside of animals they steal cubs the bear shit they're playing music distracting a fucking grown ass bear it's just kind of like hey that's cool you figured that out yeah what's, what song <laughs> do they play disorient the bear <laughs> with motherfucking saints going marching in or whatever that's impressive to me it's a grown ass bear an elephant you starve it it's kind of fucked up but that's I, I, I see you how that's impressive. The motherfucker I up. see how that's impressive. You gotta, you gotta get them on the an elephant. you gotta pick up the elephant yeah you don't think you, Roman that's, that's why I was saying why'd you leave the cubs huh? you just took cubs because the mom would chase after the cubs. Oh yeah, and then God. you drop one. You drop one. You <laughs> just constantly moving. fail. To come and up with that one. idea. That's not smart to they come didn't Somebody have the, has to fail first. They didn't have the internet, so they have mad time to think about shit. Oh my God, like, I hate come you on. all. What about Roman so, numerals? How could you figure, how could you that's find a, a way to make... Point. I didn't know where you were going. They that's a good ass time, point, They have mad time, son. Get, nothing hey, but time. Yo, cut your phone off for one flight. The ideas you're going to come up with during that one flight will be better than any Roman idea. Any, you're 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 being disrespectful to the great Roman Republic. <laughs> son, I'm you're being you disrespectful up, son. for the great I'm Roman picking Republic. Picking you up, the genius that you have, minus <laughs> the distraction Gandhi. of the this internet, is crazy. What is what is the genius of Gandhi? He was just an elephant. He was an elephant that the Romans took. He just sat there and fucking starved. <laughs> yeah, but the and Romans he's a fucking hero for that. But the Romans and we can't treat the elephants like they're Gandhi. But the Romans didn't <laughs> stop the elephants attacking elephants after that. Say did they? what? The Romans didn't give the elephants their freedom, did they? No. Mm. That now that would have been impressive ass elephant. I'll be honest. If the, Romans, some impressive if the Romans were running uh, India, they would let that motherfucker starve. The English some bitch ass uh, colonists. They they not strong about it. Hey. If the Romans were running India, please believe he would have wilted away. Art of war, dog. Yeah, I know your enemy. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. The Romans knew their enemies. <laughs> they knew how to respect the rhinoceros. <laughs> they knew how to respect the elephant. You still haven't said how they get the rhinoceros. Maybe this will be impressive. What? How they get the rhinoceros. They wrote it. That's impressive. They wrote it. That's fire, they wrote dog. It back. You see how that's impressive, they right? They wrote it back. I saved the best for last. <laughs> they wrote it back. Hey. One drive. Hey, you know what? One ride, nonstop. Hey, no that's water. Impressive. Nobody had water. That's not for the rhinoceros, <laughs> not for the people. Drunk water. Yeah, that's it. They would drink Aperol spray. Can also, you, the people stealing the cubs and dying like were probably not yeah, like rich did. Romans. <laughs> they were probably like sending their slaves out there, like, hey, try it this way. Hey, try it yeah, this it's way. It's impressive Just for the Just a slaves bunch too. of fucking guinea pigs. Yeah. yeah, it's impressive. You guys have no respect for this history sucks, or yo. culture. This oh. sucks. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what did your people do? So Just stupid. sat around and fucking fucked and wrote it down. Congrats. Do you admit? <laughs> Yo, your greatest accomplishments are doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not bringing him to the podcast to start this shit off. I just can't believe he's watching at home. His mind is just blown. <laughs> he's like, "Yo, I can't wait. I dropped this heat on the box. <laughs> so you waited to drop that heat on the box." 
He's like, I'm gonna yeah. kill these niggas today, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't respect y'all don't respect greatness, yo. I, y'all don't respect greatness. I can't, I can't believe it. Was so what hyped. inspires was y'all? So what inspires y'all? You're not fucking stealing children, but yo. What inspires you? Yeah, that's some QAnon ass shit, bro. And then if they don't believe that, yo, they ain't even drink water before the room is big. That's why I knew it. he was in trouble. I was actually I thought they it was didn't cool. drink water. They then didn't he drink started water. making no crazy lies. <laughs> <laughs> they drink no water. It wasn't drinking water, oh son. It wasn't was drinking so water. I was so excited. Just dog. beer, dog. Yeah, when you told me this is more impressive than the Coliseum, I was like, yo, they did get animals. How'd they get these animals? Why is the and Coliseum then just impressive? Stealing son, children. It's still up to date. That's impressive, bro. It's and I know heavy. we help. We help. It's just it rocks. Stay up, it stays there. It's nah, like any, on, all the buildings we build are going to be here forever, oh too. My God, son, dude. when you saw the fucking pyramid, you were blown away. Yeah, because it's heavy. <laughs> so yeah. what's the difference? The weight of it impressed me. Pyramids, and the fact impressive. that they could do it 4,000 years ago. Impressive. If I knew that they were putting rhinoceri on top of the pyramid, that'd be way more impressive. <laughs> that'd be way more impressive. If they put a rhinoceros at the top of the pyramid, if they got that, I'd be way more impressed. Like ba- Anything with rhinoceros, I'm impressed. Balancing? Remember when Ace Ventura came out the back of a rhinoceros? Yeah. <laughs> greatest thing he's ever done in his career, Jim Carrey. <laughs> that's the greatest thing Jim Carrey ever done in his whole career. <laughs> so, that's the greatest thing he ever did. His and I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure it was a hippopotamus he came out of. Still one of the greatest things he's ever done in his entire hippopotamus, career. Hippopotamus, I think. No, Whatever. No. Oh, oh, it was a rhinoceros? It was a rhino? The... Do you see that? Oh, wow. Do you see that? Yeah, that was impressive. He came out the rhino's ass. Y'all need y'all need better inspiration. Y'all need better inspiration in your lives. Inspired by bullshit. I hate all y'all. I was gonna be. I hate all y'all. I don't ever want to share anything motivational again. I why, don't why does he like rhinos so much? I think it's because they got big noses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, brother? <laughs> brother. <laughs> I feel attacked. Oh, my God. Okay? Also, I can't believe it. That's why he's not impressed by the pyramids. The Sphinx lost its nose. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm, that's, yes. why that's why he don't like that's it. Yo, I, so apparently they did have water back in the day. I Googled it. No, they little. had water, Mark. <laughs> but could they drink it? Of course it? they had water. They, you could, said nobody Could they drink it? Water. But they're not drinking it. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> Water <laughs> existed. So what are you drinking water like such an idiot? Happened in fucking 1920. <laughs> Could they drink the water? This is an important. No, they weren't drinking the water. They weren't drinking the water. Rich people weren't drinking the water. Water was the most rich people. Water was the most common, common drink. drink. You moving? You moving the gold bones? Poor people have beer. You moving the gold bones? I killed you. Poor people don't have beer. <laughs> Poor people would die. That's just what it was. Rich people don't drink water now. They drink wine. It still doesn't mean you can't drink no, it. No, rich people drink water. So they would drink it from like the natural springs and then aqueduct it down. Or if there was like a cholera outbreak, then they would boil the water. And in some cases, they would use beer as a substitute. Exactly. They would drink beer. In some cases. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't drink water. They didn't drink water. They didn't drink water. Oh, please believe by the end of this podcast, the Roman Empire is the most impressive thing any of y'all ever seen in life. Please believe. They they invented television. <laughs> Is that uh, really? They had television. They were the they first ones to have television. You know they had iPhones. No, they didn't have iPhones. Oh my but god. But they invented television. Actually, the oh. Scottish invented television. But <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Just oh, two god. great empires. Oh damn, yo. <laughs> no, two. Just two great empires. Guys, uh, <laughs> don't I don't ever want to share anything exciting <laughs> with you guys ever again. Son. I just want to let you know. That's Chifty. No, Chifty, I got I want to talk to you later about the Roman Empire. You're gonna be really impressed. Yeah. This is why people have kids. This is why people have kids. I realize now. My man was could, yelling at us because we weren't impressed. He thought I made a decision Son. not to be impressed. I've never wanted to be violent to you. When I told you about the fact that they put an elephant in the thing and you looked at me like I said, my girl's really funny. You know what I mean? Or just something like that. And you gave me the same look. Oh like God. it was equally impressive. I wanted to punch you in your fuck. I wanted to take your head and want to slam into the corner of the table. Oh, man. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I wanted that. I I wanted that. I can't believe you you guys couldn't find anything impressive in that. I cannot wait. I cannot. I will remember this for the rest of my life. I will remember this for the rest of my life when you guys are like faking interest in some like famous person's story. You're like, oh, that was so hilarious. I'm like, oh, is it? Oh, is that hilarious? You just, oh, that's pretty goddamn funny, isn't it? Son, you just Listen, led with the wrong thing. Yeah, that's no, all. Son. If you told us how they got the fucking suck bears, dicks. dog. Suck dicks. <laughs> okay? Suck dicks, suck dicks. Let's go. Led with the wrong thing. 
Rhino never fails. You didn't lead with Rhino. What I lead with? You led with Rabbit? tigers. What? Tigers. Yeah, tigers are pretty tiger. fucking impressive. We watched like, a whole documentary about it. Dog. We watched with Tiger King a whole documentary. The, They're just kidding. The world was enthralled over tigers. They're in a cage. Not yeah. tigers in a fucking forest. I wasn't impressed by him. I was watching Akash. it like a fucking circus. Yeah. But I wasn't like, <laughs> how does Joe Exotic get these tigers in their cages? Oh gosh, you've been dressing like him ever since. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you, you change the way you I'm dress gay, based on that bro, fucking that documentary. That's just because I'm gay. You change the way you dress. That's just because I'm gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> You're unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, but this is the least impressive take in history, right? Roman Empire is pretty cool. <laughs> and then you're like, what? <laughs> Well, you cool. guys couldn't catch a house cat. I don't think either of you could catch a house cat. I don't need to. I, I, can, like, I, I, don't, need, I don't need to. I don't, I don't want to. I don't need to right fly now. a fucking B-52 bomber. It's still impressive that you can do it. <laughs> That's Son, impressive. I catch one. Bang. Caught. No, bro, <laughs> Just give me the American guns. flag. I'll catch a house cat right now. <laughs> yes, you can no problem. Wait, how do you do that? <laughs> Just catch that motherfucker. Oh, Hold it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. That was impressive to y'all? No, it wasn't. That was impressive. It was impressive that to was you? Impressive, catching yeah. the cat? Yeah, dog. They didn't no. even move. What was more impressive after they caught the shit and that cat was scratching the Going shit crazy. out of that motherfucker yeah, yeah, yeah. and really? they still held on to it? That was the impressive Yeah, that's, that's respect. Oh, look at the cat. The cat is bugging out, like biting and scratching his motherfucker. He's like holding it by its head and then one other person grabs it and the cat's like <clears throat> mauling them apart. Yeah. Impressive. The catch, yeah, mid. It was actually a good cat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big ass flag. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I you, just said they took a rhinoceros from <laughs> South Sudan <laughs> to Rome. So okay? I feel the ties and turned. you said it wasn't I didn't get the rhinoceros. Hold on. No, 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 Get the nerve gun. I just said I got the rhinoceros. They took a rhinoceros from South Sudan, not North Sudan, South Sudan to Rome. Where okay? They had, where they had a baseball game, though? Where they had a baseball game, though? Nah. Alex, you just puffed your chest and you said the guy held the cat while he scratched his Son, forearms. Yes. That was impressive. Yeah. You said that. The Romans dug a hole and starved it. Oh, my God. How do you get out bro. of the hole? How do you get out of the hole? So you take a bunch of motherfucking slaves. A bunch of slaves <laughs> going to get one rhinoceros out yep. the hole. Got you. That one. <laughs> no, I'm wrong. I hope you get a nosebleed today. <laughs> but why? I want that for you. <laughs> but why? I want you to spontaneously start bleeding out of your nose. Yeah. And I want it to drip on your stupid shirt. And I want you to oh, be like, oh, fuck. And then, oh, oh my nose yeah. is bleeding. And I want that oh, to happen man. to you today. After yeah. what you put me through. You gave me an aneurysm. You yeah. took a year off my life. You took a year off my life. <laughs> Just me? What about this guy? He will he he will get his punishment. Okay, okay. <laughs> he will get his punishment one day. Maybe Damn. not this life. Maybe the next life. <laughs> You're going to come back as a Roman emperor. Oh, I would love it. That's fire. Yeah. I would love it. That's yeah. fire. I have a very easy job. Oh, no. Because you have to drink alcohol. <laughs> there's no water. <laughs> yeah, there's no water, is there, yeah. Akash? Kiss your liquid you're going to have to drink your alcohol. <laughs> I hope you like drinking, uh, Akash. I'm yeah. going to love it. And you're going to have to eat beef, too. I'm going to love that, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa I'm just doing whoa, all the fun whoa, shit whoa. I can't do now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It sounds lit. You're going to come back <laughs> as a Muslim emperor. <laughs> With a harem of women. Yep. Yeah. And conquering India. <laughs> oh. And making Indians build things. That'll mm. hurt. Yes. If I really want to punish him, I'll have him catch baby tigers. <laughs> <laughs> that workout you did you today. Said, or you said You realize you still haven't said how they caught the rhinoceros? I just want to say. No, no, I just want to say. You know what? Okay, I made it up. They never had a rhinoceros. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to reach for bigger animals, okay? <laughs> Did they, you know they had a fucking Tyrannosaurus? <laughs> <laughs> that would be impressive. That's that impressive, impressive the way they got a Tyrannosaurus? Now, now we're talking. No, no, they did have a rhinoceros. They did. It was a, very, it was, it was a big white rhinoceros. <laughs> yeah. They got one of the white ones. Oh. <laughs> they're, a little, they're a little slower. <laughs> a little easier to catch them. Oh, God. Uh, but to, to what Dub just said. Al, Al caught many white female rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're not impressed by that. You guys completely ruined my workout. I am, <laughs> I am worked back up yeah, to where I usually am pro before a workout. I am worked back up today. Oh, yeah. So the rest of my day is ruined. Thank you guys so much. You I had a good couple hours. It was nice, and now I feel like uh, absolute complete shit. Um, <laughs> Welcome to Flag Riches. Shout out to Kid Super, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to our boy Kid Super. Kid Super won the uh, Carl Lagerfeld uh, Award or something like that. I have it written down somewhere. But basically won this uh, very prestigious award, and a lot of people who has won this award – uh, in the past, gone on to do absolutely amazing things. Uh, if you guys don't know who Kid Super is, he's a, he's really like a truly 
brilliant creative, man. And uh, he has a clothing line called Kid Super. It's our boy, Colm, who spells his name Colm. So I only fucking call him Colm. Uh, <laughs> he, made the, he made the robe for the Fire infamous store robe. that you guys have seen before. And uh, But no, he's seriously brilliant fucking dude. And uh, he was out there. I think it was Fashion Week in Paris, was mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he won this award. And like... I just think that there's going to be massive things for this kid. He's just a great fucking guy, hilarious, and I'm just super proud of him. So we wanted to give him a shout out on the podcast. Shouts. Sorry if we butchered the award, okay? Um, it's the LVMH Prize. LVMH Prize. That's Louis Vuitton. Moe. Moe. Hennessy. Hennessy. Oh. Yeah. Wow. The LVMH Prize. Damn. Carl Lagerfeld. The Hennessy something. Award? That's fire. That's fire. That's lit. That's, 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 that's fire. Like Dan Louis. That now. was impressive. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that impressive guys or no incredibly that, impressive that's, oh, that's it's impressive. incredibly impressive is that impressive yeah. okay. think of the competition he beat out yeah Not fucking children yeah <laughs> and it's called the Carl Lagerfeld prize oh it's called the Carl whatever the fuck it is calm R.I.P. okay <laughs> we love you we appreciate you and congratulations Dr. alright guys we're gonna take a break for a second because we got shows the motherfucking infamous tour is coming to your city and I got important information about all the COVID mandates etc that these different states and cities are putting in place so pay the fuck attention okay important San Diego you're good alright Austin you need proof of vax or a negative test that is required. You understand that? Proof of vax or negative test. If you're not vaccinated, just go get that negative test. Make sure you go get that negative motherfucking test beforehand, okay? Go do that shit if you are not vaccinated, all right? That's right. We're not mandating anybody gets vaccinated. You're just going to go get that negative test to prove it, and then we're going to film this goddamn special. I'm so fucking excited. Oh, yeah. Austin, I will see y'all there. Um... Uh, let's see. Louisville is vax or negative test uh, within 72 hours. Cincinnati is vax or negative test within 48 hours. Philly is vax or negative test within 48 hours. Um, Indy, vax or negative test within 48 hours. DC, vax or negative test uh, within 48 hours. San Fran is vax only. Okay. Now, if you have some sort of medical uh, exception, like maybe you're pregnant or that kind of stuff, maybe they'll work with you. But the city of San Francisco is a bunch of fucking cucks and cucks make stupid rules. So they're saying you have to be vaxxed only. That is the city's policy. Nothing we can do about that. Um, I wish it was vax or tests. But again, this is a city run by cucks. So they're, you know, cucks are going to cuck. Um Madison, vax or negative test within 48 hours. Uh, Chicago, you're good. And uh, Minneapolis, vax or negative test within 48 hours. Jacksonville, you know it's Florida, baby. You uh -huh. already know, baby. You're good. Um, and, yeah, so make sure you do that. And uh, those are the shows we added Chicago. We added another one in San Francisco. We added another one in D.C. A lot of these shows already sold out. Uh, we will see you there. I am so fucking excited, man. The tour is really kind of, kind of gearing up, man. We having some fun, man. We having we having a lot of fun. I can't wait to do this special and just, just see y'all, man. So I'm very excited. Akash, what you got? Yo, I'm going to be in Austin as well, the 23rd through the 25th at Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Uh, I am headlining on the 23rd, so cop your fucking tickets. We got friends of the podcast showing up. That's going to be a fun show. Uh, October 1st, Houston. I'm coming home, sort of, where my parents live now. I'm going to be at the Secret Group, two shows on Friday. Bring your ass through. October 5th, New York. I'm going to be at New York Comedy Club, two shows. Uh, we're going to be doing a little something, so come through New York Comedy Club on 24th and 2nd. October 15th and 16th, Toronto at the Rock Pile Nightclub. There are only tickets for one show left, so hurry the fuck up hey. and cop before they sell out. Just added October 21st through 23rd, I'm going to be in New Brunswick, New Jersey at the Stress Factory. Hurry up and buy tickets because those will sell as well. Uh, November 5th, I'm going to be in Atlanta. Sorry, that's November 6th. I'm going to be in Atlanta at the Red Clay Comedy Festival. November 11th through 13th, I'm going to be at Helium in Indianapolis. December 3rd through 4th, I'm actually... Home, home, Dallas, hyenas, cop your fucking tickets, I'm coming home. And then December 9th through 11th, D.C. at the Comedy Loft. 
Get your tickets on AkashSing.com. Alex, hit it. And guys, if you're in the tri-state area, you're looking for a place to record your podcast, head over to WTF Media Studios. It's in Soho. Some of your favorite podcasts are there. You got Horrible Decisions, Rory and Maul, even Brilliant Idiots was there a few times. Mm -hmm. So head over to WTFMediaStudios.com and book your slot today. And let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because y'all need to make some fucking money. I know you're gambling on the NFL. And if you're going to be gambling on the NFL, you might as well get that initial deposit bonus that you're putting down matched up to $1,000. That's a free $1,000 to gamble. Wouldn't you like to gamble with free money so you could make money off that shit? That means you're making money off of free money, okay? You're getting a stimulus package. MyBookie.ag is sending you a motherfucking stimulus package so you could gamble on sports. Now, you doesn't just have to be the NFL. You can gamble on boxing. You can gamble on MMA. You can gamble on tons of things. But the NFL is back in business, and that's where you're going to probably put your money. So if you missed out on week one, don't even sweat it, okay? Because entries are still open, all right? And all it takes is one solid week to get you back in the mix. Don't just take my word for it. Join now and you start winning this season with MyBookie today, okay? If you head to MyBookie.ag and you choose from a variety of boosts, contests, promotions that are up for grabs, highlighted by the crown jewel of the winning season, the famed MyBookie Super Contest, it literally only costs $10 to enter. You pick five games against the spread each week. Each win earns you a point and each point gets you closer to the grand motherfucking price. So in order for you to get started, you make your first deposit at mybookie.ag and use the promo code flagrant to instantly receive double your deposit. That's double your money, the double your winnings with the first ever deposit using promo code flagrant. Flagrant. Okay. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Let's get back to the show. Okay. Let's talk about this beating up these chicks. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Um, <laughs> This feelings, is feelings no facts. Feelings no Yeah, facts. we're going feelings no facts because I, it's already to the point where I just want to throw away everything. <laughs> <laughs> I want to throw away everything. We're at the point where it's like, what's the point of a career? Let's just make it all explode. Okay? Let's just go down. Let's go down in a ball of flames. Okay? Um, no, but let's talk about it. This is, this, is, this is an interesting story because these things keep on popping up and nobody yeah. seems to want to address it. And you know who they never ask uh, how they feel about this? Or maybe they do. We just never hear. We always hear about like these like uh, right-wing pundits are always talking about it. The left-wing doesn't really say anything because they know that it's fucked up, but they yeah. can't really be anti-trans. So the right-wing guys use it as a way to like kind of push back against trans rights, I think. It's kind of like a convenient thing. And push thing. back against overcorrection, I think, go, more go, so. What does that mean? They're pushing back against the, what they feel is like the uh, 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 the yeah, PC yeah. movement overreaching, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is the one that they they think they have the easiest time arguing because yeah. it kind of also flips their feminism argument against them. Yes, and it's like if you have a trans woman in the women's bathroom, yeah, that's enough for conservatives or to go, yo, this is fucked up. But liberals will be like, you have to respect her as a woman. She just go use the bathroom as a woman. It is what it right. is. <clears throat> Once you get violence into the equation. Right? Then all of a sudden there has to be a little bit of pushback. Like, right. do you want these bitches being beat up by a dude who's like an ex-Navy SEAL? Right. Like the dude was literally ex-military. Yeah. There's a there's a picture of him before he transitioned where he's looking like fucking Gordon Ryan, dude. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that is? Yeah, the yeah, jujitsu yeah. dude. Yeah. The jujitsu goat. The guy was fucking stacked when he was yeah. a dude. Transitioned to the chick, still in pretty good shape. Yeah. But there's a there's an image of him choking fucking the fucking yoke. shit out of this girl. Yeah. So what I'm curious about is what the girls that are fighting these trans women think. Yeah, like, I would love to hear that. That's all I want to hear. I just want to hear the girls. Like, do they look at it as a challenge? <clears throat> right. Are they really willing to test their fighting skills? Mm. Are they going, I'm a martial artist. It doesn't matter who you put in front of me. Are they going, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I actually watched a CNN interview. This yeah. was a few years ago. It was probably like six or seven years ago the now. The Fallon Fox story like, probably? The Fallon Fox yeah. fighter. Someone that fought Fallon Fox that was like, yeah. Like the CNN reporter was just kind of asking about the fight. And they were like, yeah, you know, it was good. Like good competitor, blah, blah, And started trying to bait the conversation into the, a trans issue. Yeah. Where the fighter didn't really seem like she was interested in talking about yeah. trans fighting. Yeah. And then kind of got like baited into it. And then like kind of misspoke and was afraid of getting canceled. I yeah. think if you're so, a high level competitor... Yeah. You're just thinking, I don't care. I want to fight them, and I'm not going to have any excuses. Well, you could talk to me all you want about bone density and all this advantage that person might have had for yeah. 30, this person 30 years of being a male genetically yeah. or whatever, sexually, whatever, but I don't want that. I just see that as competition, and I should win, and that's it. There's also a weird steroid. I think thing. a competitor might be like, let's not even let that shit 
and that is an excuse enter into my mind. Win or lose, I win or lost, and that's it. Mm. Like a high level competitor might be like, fuck all the excuses, let's just go. Because I'm sure the rules are the same as the Olympics, where like they just got to make sure that your testosterone mm -hmm. is within a female range. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So if we're basing your strength and ability strictly on testosterone, right. which I think is unfair because there's probably other things that go into it, but yeah. it's like a testosterone estrogen level, right? Mm -hmm. That's what makes you quote unquote female or be able to compete with these females. Right. I just don't subscribe. And maybe it's my sexism. Like I don't care if I'm a dude that has no testosterone in my body is all mm -hmm. like no me. girl's going to beat me up. Like, yeah. Even if she's got yeah. testosterone, yeah. right? So, like I, I, I know that's sexist to say, <laughs> but I believe it's completely unfair. Well, this but, is where it gets weird because there's a steroids thing that happens. Okay, where a lot of these fighters, men and women, are on steroids. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So they're like, "Yo, do you want to fight a trans woman?" And they're like, "Okay, yeah, it's the same weight class. Like maybe they got more muscle, more bone density, whatever." But their estrogen is higher and their testosterone is lower, mm. and I'm on fucking testosterone. Mm. So don't start testing testosterone because my testosterone is crazy. Or mm. like I had to cycle in the off season and then I got off it and started using beta blockers, whatever the fuck. You're saying like, the female competitors. Yeah, exactly. Right. Are the, on the, steroids. Uh, so and in so a, in genetically a weird way, female for like, yeah, the genetically yeah. female ones. So in a weird way, it kind of exposes testosterone use in female mm. athletes or female yeah. MMA fighters at least because right. they're like, well, fuck, don't test the for testosterone because it's going to expose me that I've been fucking cheating as well. And then on top of that, they're like, I, I think you got to measure clits. I think if, <laughs> I think it's got to be dick or clit has to be in like the one centimeter or three centimeter range. Yeah. Right. And then you're good. But if you have like a full cock, like if you're just, if you're just all like foreskin, if that's all that's left, like yeah. your actual like phallus has just kind of shriveled away, yeah, yeah. I think you can compete with women. Yeah. I'm okay with Just that. like a hand and like a pantyhose kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. real floppy. Yes. Like if you turned like a, like a Smurf upside down, like you know those hats that they have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Are we think or am I thinking of a Keebler elf? You're thinking of a Keebler elf. Keebler yeah. elf, yeah. Just that. If that's it, I think you can go. But <laughs> micro penis? You, yeah, I guess. I Unerect. Know. Oh my god. Talking about micro. <laughs> And then we get back to the story real quick. You know how like dwarfism is a thing mm -hmm. and gigantism is a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Gigantism, yeah, we've yeah. all heard of, right? Has there ever been a dwarf with gigantism? I don't hmm. think you can. Maybe, maybe one of us. Dwarfs tend to have. No, because they'd have that same body. It would just be fucking Oh, like huge. a giant toddler. Yes. Oh. Dwarfs tend to have small hands with a big head. I don't know. Small if... legs, small arms. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think that things are opposite. I think they're two different diseases, and they're they're just so rare that it. You know, oh my god! You almost never see. Please tell me there is one right now. Adam Rayner. Get a the fuck out of here! 1899 How big? was the only person in recorded history to have been both a dwarf and a giant. Why are there pictures? Yeah. Holy shit! That's why. So his adult height was four foot ten inches. Oh. But That's was the gigantism a dwarf? So it was supposed to be two feet. No, I think anything under five, uh, four eleven is considered a midget. Yeah. This was. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Oh no, four foot. No, no, he was a was a regular adult. Oh, he ended up reaching a height of seven foot. Holy shit! Does the body look like a midget still? <laughs> kind of. I'm Mark, please just please uh, put this on. I'm putting up a pic. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's wild. No, that's just a regular guy. He's a dwarf. He was he got born them in V he was lines. Born though. a dwarf. He got them <laughs> he V's going. <laughs> Something's going on with his face, dude. <laughs> Fucking chimney sweep. <laughs> okay, back to but back to the what's it called the fighter thing. What is what is your? Uh, so I read about this particular fighter, and this is where I have a little more empathy or sympathy or whatever the word is for her. This trans is because she came out in 2003 yep. as trans. Before there was a big PC movement, and we were all pretty fucking closed-minded about this stuff. She was like, yo, I'd like to have the surgery. Her parents said no. So she ended up like going to war as a male, then had PTSD, all this shit, and still wanted to do the surgery. So this is like, sometimes I think you can question their motives. Like, what, are you just trying to fucking compete and win? And where you just trying you to beat girls win? up. Yeah. You know how like Dexter found a way to kill people? <laughs> right. Mm. He's like, I'll just kill bad people because I need to do it. Right. Like if you're a guy who just needs to beat women up, yeah. then you transition to a, a woman and then compete in female MMA. And I don't think this is one of those cases because yeah. you made them stay a man and they went to fucking war. They're yeah. like, yeah, just, I just, whatever. Yeah. Also, I was thinking about this issue and I was thinking, won't this just sort itself out with enough time? Like if trans athletes keep transitioning and then dominating and winning and like taking all the championships in every women's sport, we're going to eventually like, yo, this shit got to stop. 
Yeah, it's like Shaq made <clears throat> you change the rules. Of yeah, basketball, <laughs> exactly. Right. So there's going to be like a girl. So we're going to do like this every transfer. time, and I get it. <clears throat> but if you step back, can't you just be like, this will take care of itself. This is one of those problems that you just let it go, and eventually the, everybody will be like, yo, it's too far. The only issue is if it was regular sports, mm-hmm. um, I think that people don't care enough about female sports. Most female sports, there's a few, but like right. people don't care enough about female sports uh, to, to really like make the adjustments or the changes. Mm-hmm. Well, people within the federations do. Pardon? If you're leading the women's UFC federation or the women's MMA federation, you care enough about women's sports, you would adjust it. Yeah, but like in general, like I don't think that like uh, female sports outside of like maybe like uh, tennis <clears throat> don't drive enough revenue for there to be like real change. Right. Uh, female sports for the most part in, on the professional level, it, it's, it sounds fucked up to say it, but it's more of like a charity case. It's like uh, the NBA is going to front the money for the WNBA. It's right. not a profitable business endeavor, but it's the right thing to do so we can get more women into the sport. And maybe the NBA is looking like, hey, look, if women are actually into the WNBA, that means they're definitely going to be in the NBA as well. And right. then we can double our market share by <clears throat> right. getting the other half of the population to care, right? Mm. If this was happening to men's sports, if women were better than men and they were coming in and affecting the game, please realize that this would be changed immediately. Right. In a fucking heartbeat. So maybe you're right. Maybe it sorts itself out when it enters the UFC. Right. Maybe it's like when Amanda Nunes gets knocked the fuck out by some guy who used to be a fucking Navy SEAL. Right. Then all of a sudden we go, what is happening over here? But Fallon Fox lost. Yeah. Right. Right. A A girl beat her. Right. You yeah. know, so uh, I, I, again, I don't think you see that change that hits high level. I think the only tricky thing is, Akash, is that if this was if this was any other sport where where they don't actually get like hurt and potentially yeah. killed, I think it'd be OK to just let it sort itself right. out. This is a violent sport. One girl could die, man. Yeah. The weird thing I see is every time this story hits uh, the news cycle, it's either the media talking about it or men. <laughs> right. I yeah, never really. Talk- yeah. Women have to speak up. Yeah, You're I would right. be curious about how it's like, right. Until women speak up, we're not going to do shit. And what do you think the hesitation is? Uh, <laughs> they have the pushback of saying, hey, I don't want to compete against trans, but they're so progressive. So the liberal women want to include trans women yeah. in what it is to be a woman. But they are also scared of excluding them and competing against women. Yeah. So they're just quiet. Yeah. And since it's not happening... At a large scale, like there's so few trans people in general, there's even less that are competing yeah. in sports, and even fewer that are competing even close to the highest level. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a, having a fucking UFC champion from like British Samoa. Right. Mm-hmm. It's and, just so hard. You and know? that's why men care about it because we're like, nah, shit got to be fair. Yeah. So well, we're, we're not we, even watching the fucking trans fight, but we're just like, nah, that shit don't sound fair. And, yeah. and, I and I we care about key, that shit. If, like in if we're going to look at ourselves in the best possible way, like, I don't think we'd like to see women get their ass kicked by guys. That's also true. Like, but, but I don't know. I don't know why death is the inhibiting factor if that's an outcome in any UFC fight or any MMA fight. Right? Like, death is always on the table for yeah, any but, fight, right? <clears throat> yeah, but yeah. This, this guy could be at a genetic advantage or whatever. Uh, yeah. But is. if they're the same weight class, how different is it? Well, I mean, you know. But if they're both fighting at 130, though. There's a lot of like... Well, a guy at 130 and a girl at 130 aren't the same, right? But on like estrogen blockers and all that shit, I'm well, like... That's the thing that we don't know. We don't know if a guy's testosterone levels reduced to the le- like to a woman's testosterone is going to be the same. I mean, So what she said is, I can't bench as much as I used to. I went from running a six-minute mile to a nine-minute mile now. I think she used to bench like 350 as a male, and now she's at like 185 or whatever. So she said it affected her performance. There's a video you linked us to, and the guy was using all kinds of terms. I don't fucking understand. Mm-hmm. But he basically said... He said bone density, a bunch of other things are going to come into play just from having been a male for 30 years yeah. that just reducing testosterone isn't going to take away. Right. You're still going to have all these other secondary advantages. Right. And can't the woman choose to take the fight, though? Yeah, of course they can. Of course they can. But, um, yeah, I mean, look, there's they other wanna, factors that go paid. into that. Like, they want to make a living. They want to do right by the promotion. They're contractually obligated to take mm-hmm. fights. And if they say no, then maybe the promotion looks down on them. The promotion is also selfishly going... Hey, if we have this fight here, the whole world's going to be talking yeah, about exactly. it, and right. we're going to get named in it. So they're probably not looking out for that girl as much. Yeah. But even going back to like the testosterone numbers, like, have you ever had like an old man like grab you? Yeah, they got you know? old man strength. Old man strength is a thing. It's a, it's real, a real thing. Real we thing. all know this, right? Like yeah, that right. old man, like offensive line. This guy at the YMCA football. was like sixty. 
like smaller than any of us that were there and lifting way more than any of us. Yeah. yeah. And even guys that aren't exercising, like just grandpa that just grabs and holds yes. you. He's got fucking cuts in his fingers who haven't healed for like 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Like that guy's testosterone levels are super low. Like right. you get older, I think naturally your testosterone goes down. Yes. That's mm -hmm. why they do TRT, mm -hmm. right? Testosterone replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. And people start that even earlier. Shit, yeah. I know people that are on fucking TRT and they're right. in their late 30s, right? right? So I think Dak Shepard is on it. Dax is on it. There's a, a lot of famous people on it. So it's like if those testosterone levels already dip, but them old man still got that fucking strength. Like, no grandma's ever grabbed me and I was like, damn, shit. Yeah. Dude. Fuck. All right. Yeah, all, right. all right. Happy birthday. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll come around more often. Yeah. Right? So there's yeah. got to be something else besides just testosterone and weight that's giving a guy an advantage in a fight with a girl. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think the issue is, to answer your question. And what are those things? Is it just muscle? Like Maybe bone density? the bone density thing. I don't know. Like We need a science nerd to come mm -hmm. on over here. But we never had to cross this uh, you know, uh, bridge because um, everybody was kind divided. of was on the same fucking page. Yeah. Like, we're like, all right, the reason why we have two different sports you know, we don't let girls compete. It was really generous of us to be like, hey, don't play in our league because we'll fucking destroy We still want y'all to play. But we yeah. still want you to play. Playing is fun. Your own league. Yeah. So let's yeah. create some rules so you can play. If Amanda Nunez wanted to fight a guy in the same weight class or whatever, and they were both like, yeah, let's fight, would anyone care? Well, I think there'd be a lot of people that were not happy with There that. is someone who's mm -hmm. trying to do this. Some little UFC fighters dude is trying to fight a big girl. I forget. Somebody DM me about this a while ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. They keep promoting it. As if it's going to happen, but I don't know. If uh, you, would have a, you don't have a problem with Nunes fighting a dude? Uh, if they were an that. MMA fighter, like if she was fighting another elite MMA fighter, I'd have a problem. If she was fighting like a random dude off the street who thought he could beat Amanda Nunes. Yeah, mm. get your ass like, beat, buddy. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah but if she challenges a, another MMA fighter, I I'd be fine. I wouldn't want it. I, would. I, I, nah. I just don't if like... she's just dominating everybody... All of her competition is like, yo, I need some more comp. Fam, I, I don't Move even up. like, I don't even like seeing women fight. Like, it's <laughs> gross to me, dog. I'm with you. Wait, how they I, look I or how they I don't fight? Like which it, one? Man. Say what? <laughs> yeah, say how they look or how they fight? Which one? No, both. But like, <laughs> no, but like, like seeing them like fight, like they bleed in and fucking heads all swollen and shit. Like, it's I, uncomfortable. But some of those fights have been incredible. Yeah, but they should be. Al should, should they be allowed to? Huh? Should they be allowed to? Anything that makes me uncomfortable should be allowed. <laughs> That you have sense. to curate society based on your comfort. <laughs> that makes sense. I like that. Makes that. Sense. Okay? That's fair. You saw the video I sent you. Yeah. I, you know, Mark's always talking about he wants to go to the Stan countries. Yeah. So I was looking at this guy who went to Turkmenistan, which is like the seventh least visited <laughs> country in the world. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you, you can't, it's basically North Korea, but like Muslim, but they speak Russian or whatever. And um, they had an emperor back in the day who was just like, dogs smell bad. Outlawed dogs. <laughs> 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 just said, no more dogs. <laughs> said, only white cars. Like, he just wow. had all these, like, random oh. arbitrary rules, and yeah. they just fucking stuck. Like, how crazy is that? <laughs> That's so wild. Yeah, it's kind of... Isn't like that kind of... It. Isn't that... Wants, yeah, you want to you visit there? Yeah. I want to go to all the stands, bro. I'm telling you. You're a stand stand. I'm a stand stand. I want to go to all the stands. The only reason I give pushback on a place like, like that is that, like, you might not get the authentic experience that you want. What? In because, Turkmenistan? Yeah, just because, like, the the Ajbat or whatever. Ajbat or whatever the fuck Ashkabat. Ashkabat, Ashkabat yeah. yeah. So it's like... The city is kind of curated in the same way like uh, Pyongyang is curated. Uh, they just like made all the buildings to look really nice and everything, right. but there's nobody really fucking there. But that's mm. still fascinating though. Like going yeah. to Pyongyang, being like, all right, what do you want me to see? Like I'm living in this, going to a dictatorship would be fucking crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like I feel weird like giving my money to a dictatorship, but also like, eh. Yeah, I mean, they got plenty of money. They don't need your shit. They're doing <laughs> yeah. you the favor by letting you go. They're right? Like, <laughs> ask people not to come there, basically. Would you go to Pyongyang? <sighs> I would love to. I would love to, but, but I'm not going to do it. Why not? There's no nightlife? Too night many life? Asians, bro. I, <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah. A lot of Koreans. Almost too only, many. only no. Koreans. No. No. Uh, it's just not worth the fucking risk, man. One thing goes south and all of a sudden, like. Absolutely not. And I don't want to, like, I don't want to put America in the position where they got to put all this pressure, like, on fucking North Korea to get me out. Yeah. Like, I don't want that whole fucking story. Where mm. now America looks like they're just bending the knee to fucking Kim Jong Un just to get me. They like, trade like two journalists to get you yeah, out. Like, like, yeah, like fuck that. Like <laughs> if you go there and you get stuck, that's on you. <laughs> you knew that you're not supposed to be there. Yeah, we're not going in and helping. I think you'd be salty about your ransom. Say what? You'd be mad about your ransom. <laughs> yeah. I what think what would it be? Lit, I think that's what it is. What would my Hen what would my Hennessy be? 
<laughs> what my Hennessy? He loves Hennessy, right? Yeah. How much Hennessy for me? Yo? Yeah, probably Run. three. Yo, bottles. LVMH, call yeah. Cole, call Kid Super, and yo. get a fucking case of Hennessy over to North Korea immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool to go if you're like Dennis Rodman and Kim Jong Un is like, nah, I like this guy. Yeah, but just going and risking like I might not ever get out of here. Otto Wambier, the American that yeah, yeah, died? the spy, I mean, for, the spy. <laughs> no, Banner Thief. Yeah, I'm thinking the things that Mark steals every single snack from. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah oh, if it's yeah, illegal, yeah, take yeah. some from the mini bar. I'm going to prison. Yeah, hundred percent. You're done. <laughs> it is, it is illegal unless you put your card down in the room, <laughs> and then it's legal. But if I put my card down in the room, then the mini bar is off limits. Every time we go to the hotel, they go, "Yeah, he wanted to put your card on the incidentals for some reason." I go, "Yeah, he yeah. does that." And they yeah. go, oh, "That's we weird." We have to do that. <laughs> yeah. The other option is I call before and I go, "Hey, can you just make sure there's no fucking uh, stuff in the sink or in the sink, no, the, <laughs> the, the refrigerator the or the you know how like some rooms just have nothing in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like the those. Denzel Washington and flight." rooms yeah. you know <laughs> like i can't trust this person with alcohol in his room by himself <laughs> but in mark's case it's m&ms it's m&ms yeah yeah, yeah i clean out Peanut. every minute thanks, thanks for fucking that up <laughs> <laughs> i think y'all have always put your cards down not, yeah not in the beginning when it was just me and you no oh yeah that was before i knew yeah <laughs> i didn't raid that shit say what i didn't raid it yes, and if did. i did i would do liquid so you could refill it clear liquid they know no they don't that shit still works this day Really? Unless it's the places that it's uh, weighted, and so they can feel as soon as you lift it up. But if it's not the weighted joints, they don't know. You fill a vodka with water? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Wow. What? Don't get charged. Because if, <laughs> if one guest goes by, there's no way they can tell which guest did it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now you're caught in a shuffle. Yeah. So the next guest that drinks it, as long as it's like three after, actually, it could be the person before you. Yeah, True. and you could yeah. be saving an alcoholic down the line yeah. who's like, oh, I'm going to relapse. There's vodka in my room. Let me chug this whole thing. It's just water. Mm -hmm. This is great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it doesn't matter if your card's down. Yeah. You found a way around the <laughs> but system. But I don't, I don't do snacks, though. Hey, he's, Al. He's snacks. Hey, Al. That was impressive. What you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, guy's like, this guy's a way, Roman, dude. The way you problem solve. He never drinks yeah. water, only alcohol. Dude. Oh, this shit. Guy's yeah. This guy's a Roman. That, 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 that's you are a fucking so. Roman, dude. Your problem solving skills are on point. Mm -hmm. You're drunk as fuck while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> right? And your conquest. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't do the rhinoceros thing anymore. Yeah. But yeah. you are basically a Roman, dude. You're a, you're an elite level Roman. You're towards the end of the empire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah where you don't need to do these savage yeah. things anymore. Yeah. Give them bread, give them circus. Yeah. You know? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because y'all got to stop fucking around and going bald when you don't have to. Okay? Some of you there right now listening or watching on YouTube, you're like, I'm not going bald. Yeah, maybe sometimes in, a, in, a, in the right light it looks a little funky, but I'm not going bald. Yeah. Yeah, you are. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. It's the right light. Starts in the right light or the wrong light. And you know what? You can put a stop to it right now with Keeps. Okay? This is the game-changing miracle that has been invented by men for men. Okay? We did it so we could stay at the top of our games and age gracefully. Only thing that makes a man age gracefully is keeping that head, keeping that hair on his fucking head, keeping that head with a full head of hair. And if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant to receive your first month for free. Remember, Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home. Okay, treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions. Okay, it's got discreet packaging, proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to, to start cooking up. So, Make sure you act fast. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant. That's what the fuck I've been on, bro. That's what I'm on. That's what Akash is on. That's what Miles is on. Whole squad is on it, okay? And we out here living luxurious because we got luscious motherfucking hair. Now let's get back to the show. What else, guys? <laughs> Yo, shouts to the GOAT. Shouts to the motherfucking GOAT, Dr. Umar Johnson. Mm, Yo, legend. dog. Mr. For Good is married for good and got two women. Mm -hmm. He married two women in a ceremony yep. over the weekend. On, on IG Live. Unbelievable. I mean, just unfucking believable He did it, yo. He said it on YouTube yep. a while ago, months ago. Yeah. Call, I need two wives. I need a, what do you say? I need a, a vegan food wife and a soul food wife or yep. something like that. Amazing. Could you him. tell which was which by looking at them? 100%. Oh, which really? one is which? 100%, bro. You could tell. Which one? Light skin was uh, vegan? Light skin with the dreads was the vegan. Yeah. 
See, Ugh. I saw the opposite. Nah. I saw a light skin with dreads. It was the hair more food. than the light skin. Uh, for me, that was like, ah, vegan. Okay, 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 okay. And then the other one was the soul food. Just white. straight soul food. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, I need one to rub my feet and one to rub my back. Yeah. He said that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the guy's a legend. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's like a supremely fucking talented person. He's like one of these people that comes up. I understand uh, uh, dictators, cult leaders, and that kind of stuff when I see Dr. Umar. Because <laughs> he's undeniably entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just so much fun to yeah. consume him. Even mm -hmm. the whole time, he's just shitting on me. Right. <laughs> I'm like the ideal person he's shitting on, mm -hmm. and I'm watching it like, this is fucking great. Yeah. Right? And, and he succeeds. He continues to do it. People fall for it. Yep. They love it. People love it. He's him. got just enough truth and just enough good, inspiring stuff in it where you're mm -hmm. like, okay, he kind of has a point. I yep. agree with those things he's saying. And... He just still exists to today. He's making shit up left and right. He just says he's a doctor. We're like, all right, <laughs> fine. What about dictators is entertaining like Umar, though? I think you have to be that charismatic. Oh, I think in charisma. order to be a dictator. The charisma of a oh, cult leader. Charisma. Yeah, like okay. you have to be able to just talk to people. Yeah. Like there's something about the way he talks. Yeah. He, he like repeats in. things a lot, right? He mm. goes, hello, peace and, peace and power, peace and power, black people, peace and power, peace and power. Like it's almost... Um, what is that? Uh, yeah, it's like hypnotic. It's hypnotic. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it is hypnotic he the way you, he talks. He got you feeling like a strong black man when you Son, watch it. I, I will yeah. be his third wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be Dr. Umar Johnson's He wouldn't want third you, wife. bro. He, he would not want so? you. No yeah. shot, bro. He don't want a vegan, a soul food, and an order in. He got a, <laughs> and an Uber Eats. You don't want an Uber Eats, dog? <laughs> I'm a caviar wife. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about uh, Umar? <sighs> Dude, the two wives thing is crazy. <sighs> It's impressive. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's I think doing he it needs to troll, two wives. Right? Yeah. I think only one wife couldn't handle that much bullshit coming at him at her. So, so he she, needs the second divide. one is for her more than for him. It's like, yo, you listen to him at the time. It's too many words. I can't yeah. do it. But I also think he's gonna have a reality show in the next year. I mean, mm. he's mm. got it, right? Somebody gonna give it to him. It's just so I'm trying to think like, have we ever had a reality show about like um an openly racist family? Closeted racist, yeah, but not mm. openly. Hmm. And that's mm. the thing. If there was like, if they did a reality show on like an openly racist white family, we could easily do it with Umar. But I don't think there's been like a Westboro Baptist Church documentary, even though it would be fucking. Oh no, they there's did. a documentary, Justin but not a reality did. show. He did. Yeah. And it was it was a doc or it was a reality show. It was a doc. You said Justin Thoreau did that? I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. He like kicked yeah, through the Westboro Baptist Church people and like learned all their shit. Mm. Yeah, it's a doc. It's it's. <laughs> but doc is different than I'll, show. I'll take a documentary too. I will take anything. Because a point. documentary would be a reality show. It was yeah. one. It'd be the only documentary with like talking heads with like each of his wives after every altercation. I don't remember where I saw. I think I saw a documentary in college and there's one line. You're going to have to bleep. But the lady screams. At this, she's like anti-gay protesting. And she just goes, eat feces. That is a fact. <laughs> and I was like, what? what? What's the fact about that? Legend. Legend. And they, they might not be wrong. They're... <laughs> They're, they're <laughs> Where, eating, where's your reference? They're eating more feces than people who don't do that. Mm. How well, so? No, nah, we yeah. eat ass now. Bare makes, minimum? Yeah, that makes straight sense. people eat ass. Yeah, days. but not as much as gay people. If you're know, sucking a dick after it's been in a butt, even if there's maybe a day that's gone by, <laughs> there's probably might be some feces, uh, some fecal matter around okay. But they're also cleaner, I think, on average. Who is that? Gay dudes. 100%. They're some clean motherfuckers. So that's why dude. I think there's less feces. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Or, but it could just happen all in the same night, dude. You have it all the same night, <laughs> sucking and fucking. You're just I'm sure there's an fucking, order to Mark. it. I'm sure there's an order to it. You really think? I'm sure it's sucking then fucking. They're yeah, men. There's dude. a PEMDAS. No, there's yeah, a PEMDAS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy. Nah. Nah. 100%. Dude, Please nah. excuse my dear Uncle Sally. Dude, dude, <laughs> That's dude. what it is, dude. Please excuse my dick. Dear Anal Sally. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I, I, I think that at the end of the day, they're fucking guys. They're horny as hell. They're drunk and they're not thinking about anything. Mm. I mean, y'all haven't, you know. <laughs> Y'all haven't, you know, gone down on a girl's uh, booty and then it you know, tastes a little bit like uh, shit. <laughs> Y'all never licked a booty hole and tasted like shit. You're asking the wrong two guys here, <laughs> yeah, for never. sure. All right, maybe you guys. Not, you've never after, after shower. I never really? tried that. Not after a shower. I've been like drunk and shit faced, and I've been down there, and I'd be like, "Oh, this shit is face shit. is the actor, yeah. actor." I was shit faced yeah. before and after. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've 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 had that. I've, I've yep. gone down. I've smelled shit. You never been hidden in front of back, and then the. Cheeks clap and a waff of shit air just oh, came at your face. Oh, that's different. Come on now. You've had that? Come on. Yeah, that's yeah. different, bro. Come on, yeah, That's yo. different, yeah. I do that all the time. Yo, 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 you need, you need to get rid of something before we finish this. 
hey, 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 you got one coming? <laughs> you gotta have a dude wipe on hand, bro. You gotta have a condom in your wallet and a dude wipe just in case. A condom, something, man. Just a book. <laughs> just I'm gonna block it, dog. Just put something over just that shit. Put the dude wipe, plug it up. Like, yeah. That's why I put the thumb Stop in there it. for the smell, not to uh, make her feel good. I'm just like, let me plug that shit. You got a gas leak. Yeah, we have a gas leak. <laughs> let me plug this up right quick. <laughs> 100%. This man. is why Dr. Umar would never want you, bro. That's what? That's why Dr. Umar wouldn't want you. Because? You're filthy, though. I'm a filthy dude, man. Yeah. White people are filthy, bro. <laughs> yeah, are. Yes. That's Maybe that's why Indeed. he don't like you. Maybe he's just a clean freak. He's a clean freak. He's a doctor. He's a fucking he's doctor. He's a doctor. doctor he clean. likes good hygiene. Yeah. yeah. Get the hands, put on the fucking yeah. gloves and the scrubs, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, dude. Pretty ballsy to have a ceremony getting married to two women, because that, that is illegal. Which do you kiss first? It's illegal to... You can't marry two oh, you're people. You're right about that. Yeah. That's right. So he's like publicly committing a crime. Now, that is if he does it legally, right? If yeah. He like, yeah. If he does it within the uh, just the signing legal, papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he probably does it like like how the Mormons do it. What's that? Sound? How do they do? It? I don't know. Uh, I mean, they're multiple wives, but I doubt that on paper. Yeah, multiple. that's just that's the nanny. There's one on paper, and then there's the rest are just yeah. like my side bitches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So they how do you choose what's on car. paper? Who's the paper bitch? The first one. <clears throat> but if they got married uh, at the same time, so well, they don't do the same time. You got to add wives. Uh, with the Mormon shit, it's like get Dr. your family straight uh, with this see. one, yeah. and then you add on. That's why he's legit. It's like, he nah, said, nah, let me have both my bitches right yeah, here. So well, I already know of, who I am. I know what fly. I can handle. Man, he put it in the universe, and he just did it. Yeah, this was his index it. card. Donations, bro. He's gonna start something. I guarantee you. Start something. Like you, this is gonna be a trend. What do you mean? This is gonna be a trend. You go see more people doing this. You this think is he a, invented polygamy? Alex, no, this no, has no, existed but for showing, thousands showing of it, years. Showing it, showing it, showing, showing it. it. Yeah, like I guarantee you, future will have like three or four. Like they're just gonna have to top them. Oh, just they like do. have they ceremonies. Do. Yeah, have girls. Uh, no, but actual ceremonies. Because uh, weddings are expensive, so that's a flex. Just the wedding alone, and you now gotta I'm get a three wedding families with in there, bro. Three families. Crazy! Oh, that's I have popping. a feeling that there's not extensive family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. That, that is just might be a few dads missing. But yeah, like, <laughs> I, 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 they got walked down the aisle yeah. by themselves. Yeah. Not a lot of plus one by yeah. a brother, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. What else we got? What else we got? Feelings, no facts. All right, yeah, we got McGregor no and Machine Gun Kelly going at it. This is interesting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what I find interesting about the Conor McGregor Machine Gun Gell Kelly thing is yeah. they had a little beef at the VMAs. Seeing both of their PR teams try to be the first one to start the story, yeah, was fascinating. So, Machine Gun Kelly's team dropped it first, and this is what I read on People, I think, and they put out the best thing ever. Yeah, mm. Connor attacked him after Machine Gun Kelly said he wasn't willing to take a picture with Connor. Yeah, which is I also read he wanted a picture with Megan Fox, and she said no, and then he got upset. There's multiple very there's a tons of stories out there about this right. happened. But yeah. but the idea that like Connor was a fanboy yeah. and you were like, nah, nah, I'm good. Yeah. That's a wild flex. That's, That's a super flex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Connor's team is like, no, nah, that didn't happen at all. Yeah. I forget exactly what Connor said. They said it was something like he didn't even know who Machine Gun Kelly was. Yeah. And uh, He said uh Connor only fights fighters. Yeah, he, he only fight yeah. Yeah, he doesn't fight. Uh, Which isn't like, true. He punched an old man. Didn't yeah, he? he punched an old man. <laughs> he also threw the <laughs> water bottle at Machine Gun Kelly and had to be yeah. held back. He fought a bus. He threw <laughs> a, a forklift <laughs> at a bus, basically. <laughs> this guy will fight anything. He could fight a rhino. That guy could take a rhino. 100%. Yeah. He would be a rhino hunter. <laughs> 100%. He would be a rhino hunter. Yeah, he's got it in him. I'm going to put out a movie called Rhino Hunter, and it's, and it's going to be the greatest movie. That's How have they not made it's a movie all of you. It's the sequel to Shark Knight. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It's going to be directed by not Alex Media. That's who it's going to be. It, I will have Shark Knight, too. We'll make Shark Knight. Rhino Knight. That Knight. was another thing you said. Is, How have they not made a movie about this? I thought it was going to be so fucking epic, dog. You got to understand the expectations oh, you set. The movie is coming. The movie is coming. It will be directed. Four minutes long. It will be directed by um, fucking Steven Spielberg. A short film. <laughs> it will be written by David Fincher. Okay. It will be directed by Steven Spielberg. Work, and it will be about getting the animal, animals. Yeah. It'll be great the getting animals, the animals yeah. to roam. You think he's gonna go from fucking Jurassic Park and dinosaurs to uh, taking cubs? It's actually in the ballpark. That's actually not a good argument. <laughs> he would do it. I think no, it's not in the ballpark. He's gonna the do ballpark. it. He's gonna do it. You're gonna ask for a role. I'm gonna let you play a role. <laughs> and what's, what's he gonna do? <laughs> he's gonna be a stick that they fucking use to prod the, 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 the rhinoceros. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stand straight right there. We'll let you poke a fucking rhino. And then Al, uh, Al, you don't get to do anything. Like, in you're it. You get to watch it. When you were saying the cub story, though, I thought it was genius. You're so excited, dude. The fucking. Yo, how he's do like, you steal a cub? And it would catch up. Serious. And <laughs> they would drop one. <laughs> how, how do you steal a cub? The, the mother's gotta go get food for the cub. <laughs> 
Yeah. So you just gotta sit there and wait. You gotta watch yeah. on a horse. Ooh, on so, a horse, so bro. Difficult. The horse doesn't go as fast so, as the tiger. Imagine holding four yeah. cats. So that, they gotta scoop up four cats. What are you gonna hold them like in a basket? Do you have four a chariot? Cats. Do you have a chariot? They they like this. Or something. Son, they y'all don't even know the levels of flexing sec. going on, son. <laughs> like y'all even know, like, do y'all know that fucking Augustus tried to come out with a chariot that didn't have horses in the front and had lions? Uh. But Ooh. that's kind of hard. That's not though. fire. That's yeah, fire. You, you, you can't herd cats. That's why you, they have that saying. Yeah. That, that Augustus, shit work. you can't. You can't, Mark. <laughs> you can't. But are you Augustus? I'm well, you Augustus. said he tried. Did he succeed? I feel in that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm I just know, saying he that. tried. Like, I was, he, he tried. He went for it, dog. They was trying to go for it back in the day. Mm. I just think you led with a bad example. Yeah. That's all. You fuck still you, didn't fuck get to rhinoceros. Fuck you both. I want you both to fuck You still haven't told us how rhinoceros happened. Okay. Rhinoceros is, it's none of your business. <laughs> you won't appreciate it. You can never understand. I'm making the movie. Both yep. of you, both of your scenes are getting cut out. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. We're gonna feed Al to the fucking rhinoceros. <laughs> okay? It's gonna be the opposite A's for sure. You're getting put in the rhinoceros. Yeah. 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 That's what you're doing. Okay. What else? What else Machine we got? Gun Kelly, oh, yeah, yeah. I we think, didn't finish that yet. I think it's a PR stunt. Interesting. I think Connor's in on it or not? I think Connor's in on it. Mm. I think he can't be spiraling this badly. I also think Machine Gun Kelly needs something all the time. Because none of us know his music. We're also old. Some know. That's the thing that I realized. Like, I'm, I'm with you on that, and I had that perspective on him for a while. But apparently he had, like, a number one song. He's, like, doing this rock thing. And it's basically, like, younger girls are into him. Yes. That I believe. The music isn't for our generation. We just... We just remember him, obviously, from the Eminem beef and before when he was a rapper. So we're like, oh, yeah, so we should be into your new music. But the reality is, no. Hmm. Was he big as a rapper? <sighs> He was always yeah. like very like connected industry and had like a devout following. That's what I remember. He, I was, think he was known. He had a couple of songs. Did but he I mean, manage them? I think so he was yeah. always connected. Yeah, and was like, yeah, yeah. Did he manage him? I think he's one of those guys. Industry player. And maybe I'm just old. Quite possible. I think he's one of those guys that maybe he's an industry plant. The talent isn't as big as the star power. Yeah. Of, and part of that means you got to keep the PR machine rolling. We can... There so, is, we know entertainers whose talent is fine, yeah. good maybe, but somehow they're just always in the tabloids. Kendrick can drop an album whenever he wants and then become the talk of the town. There are other people that need to constantly be the talk of the town because yeah. they can't necessarily go back to the album or to the art to do yes. it. Mm-hmm. Now, I guess the pushback that he would have on that is like, I just have a number one fucking song. Like the, yeah, the music he, is there. Yeah, and then yeah. a lot of people thought that he got Eminem on that on the, in the battle. Like... He didn't do bad. He didn't do badly. I also was more more so I was like, oh, Eminem didn't really bring it like he normally does as opposed to, yo, Machine Gun Kelly fucking ripped it. Which, which that's a, if you show up to a fight and you don't fight that good, sure, that's sure. a L. Yeah, I just, he has a number one song. Again, to me, you can get a number one song just off of being famous. And I think he's a guy right. that is, I'm going to drive the tabloids and that will drive the career. And that could very well be wrong. Right. But to me, him and, and Connor having a thing, that's headlines for Connor, which he always thrives on. Yeah. And that's headlines for MGK. It looks like he's defending his girl in a certain way. It's like, all right, well, this is good for both of them. I, I, I see that. I can see that point. I think what's happening right now is that Connor is in like an incredibly sensitive state because um, the thing that he is identified as for the largest part of his life, I would say the majority of his life, is being able to fuck people up. Yeah. And he physically can't do it right now. And yeah. I think that that's affecting the rest of his psyche as well like you ever have a bad show yeah and oh, then yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> and like there's insecurity that comes yeah with that yeah show. it ruins your whole day ruins your, but you're also like looking to be validated right. right like at any point in time like if somebody messaged you like yo i just saw this clip it was fucking hilarious like, oh that feels really good yeah. now I, I i'm gonna stop thinking these negative thoughts that i have yes. in my head about how i'm bad mm-hmm. and i'm gonna be like oh maybe people find think that I'm pretty good. But mm-hmm. if anything gets sent out that confirms those negative thoughts that you have in your real head, problem. Right? I'm it's just it's deeper, a real problem. And deeper. And exactly. Because yeah. that's what you're feeling and yeah. then someone just confirmed it. So imagine you're feeling insecure. Yeah. And I'm not saying this did happen, but imagine you're feeling insecure and then you ask somebody for a picture. Right. And they say no. It's if he's already feeling insecure, like he's losing his grasp of control in him, terms of him being an elite fighter him being the talk of the town yeah, in the conversation with MMA. Yeah. And now this other celebrity says, I don't want to take a picture with you. 
that's your biggest fear. Are you losing it? Is it going away? Mm. Or even he just was a little bit like he bumped into him or whatever, something small. It could not be yeah. picture, but it could be like he kind of bumped him and shoved him off. And yeah. It's like, wait, does this fucking civilian think just because he's taller than me and I'm on one leg, I can't fuck him up? Is that how far I've fallen because in this because perception? Fell- yeah. Is that how like not? Is that how much I'm not a fighter to people anymore? Mm-hmm. Is this fucking? Because because let's be honest, the people that fuck people up, like the people are real beasts. Yeah. At least the ones that I've met in my life are the nicest, kindest individuals. Nothing to prove. Nothing. If you really feel like you could fuck anybody up, you laugh when somebody says something yeah. to you. Someone talks some shit, you're like, all right, buddy. Yeah. I've seen a lot of guys who could really destroy, like end people's lives, do this. All right, buddy, just calm down. <laughs> yeah. Because they know if it really gets to the shits, yeah. it's a wrap, right? Yeah. And I don't think that Connor right now in his state, and understandably so, is at the level to be like, all right, buddy, that's cute. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, low key, I think but it's he, a Megan Fox thing. What do you mean? Like the way that they were interacting, like I watched this. Did like, you see the video of the whole thing? I only saw. Yeah, I did see. So I, I watched saw, the video of the water out. thing. Okay. So like him like throwing the water yeah. at him and like getting held off. But then I saw an interview after where they asked Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox what was going on. And? And like the whole interview, actually no, it was before the altercation, but their whole interaction, their whole energy is so bizarre. So like they're talking to the reporter and they were like, all right, so Megan, like, why'd you wear this? Why'd you wear that outfit? And she was like, oh, because daddy said he wanted me naked. And then they're like, what? And then Machine Gun Kelly's just standing in the back like, yeah. And then like they're making out on camera. Yeah, and then they're she's really like, going for that fucking. She, so like they they have this weird like daddy complex thing where she's like, yeah, I just do what daddy wants. Like that's the whole situation. Isn't so, he younger than her? Yes, and yes, I think that's. But part I could of see it. I yeah. could see Connor being like, oh, I know Mega Fox. Let me say what's up, and then she has to like report up to her daddy, and then they have a beef. So that's what I assumed it was. Interesting. Because I, I don't I can't imagine Connor knows or cares who Machine Gun Kelly is. Yeah. But I think he does care who I Mega Fox. I cannot imagine Connor wants a picture of Machine Gun Kelly. I can see him wanting yeah. a picture of Mega Fox. I could see the the Megan Fox thing, even though he was there with wifey. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's like let me get a, a picture of Megan Fox. And she's like, an iconic figure. Like yeah. of course he's probably seen her in fucking movies for the last, you know, decade. Yeah. So that's she was famous before he was famous. Yeah, hundred oh, percent. And what is she's it? so trash. If she's calling him daddy. Who, oh, Machine I Gun just, Kelly? Yeah, yeah, I just dropped her down like but, a bunch of notches in my book. But I think what's happening, Ugh. and I don't, okay, like the most cynical version of me goes, all right, the whole relationship is constructed because you have these two figures that people are kind of interested in. They're famous yeah. enough, but when their powers combine, yep. all of a sudden they're, it's really interesting, right? Mm. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because summer's coming to an end and the leaves are about to fall. While Mother Nature does her thing to prepare for the new season, you can do yours by seeing how much you can save on home and auto insurance. Policy Genius can't help you refresh your cool weather wardrobe for autumn, but... They do make it easy to see you're overpaying for another kind of coverage, home and auto insurance. See, Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place, okay? They can help you find home and auto coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. They save customers on average $1,250 per year. God damn. Damn right. Over what they're paying for home and auto insurance. Can you imagine that? Okay, they're saving on average $435 per year on auto insurance. Okay, they save new customers an average of $350 per year on home insurance. Their team will handle the paperwork to set you up a new policy or switch over to your current That's one. the big one. I don't want to deal with that fucking paperwork. Exactly. You hate paperwork. Just let them handle let them it. do it. I want them to handle it. Policy Genius, you go do it. Getting started is easy. First, all you got to do is head to policygenius.com answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property then policy genius takes it from there they'll compare rates from america's top insurers from progressive to all state to find the lowest quotes the policy genius team can look for ways to save you more including bundling your home and auto policies if they can find a better rate than what you're paying now they'll switch you over for free Think about that. Their top-notch service has earned Policy Genius thousands of five-star reviews on Trustpilot and Google. So head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius. When it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Now let's get back to the show. They're interesting people to look at. Megan is absolutely stunning. Like she's one of the most mm-hmm. beautiful celebs out there. Mm-hmm. She looks like a pinup girl. Right. Like she looked like she's tattooed on like Navy people's yeah, arm yeah. back in the day, like <laughs> yeah. World War II tattoos. Yeah, like yeah. stunning, right? And the Machine Gun Kelly is an interesting 
thing to look at. Yeah, he's Tattoos. wearing the fucking rhinestones on his face. Yeah, uh, yeah, like so now you combine them and it's just you're multiplying, right? So yeah, I'll now, stare at them. Boom. He's also tall. I think he's like six five. Yeah, like, big yeah. kid, right? So so now all of a sudden, like you know, blogs are picking it up and everybody loves a relationship, right? They're kind of interesting. And I think what happens is the most cynical version is like they plan this, like they plan past relationships of famous people, and then they just are leaning into the things that work. Ooh, we're going to do the Angelina Jolie, uh, what was the other guy's name? Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob thing yeah. where we're like super sexual and like mm -hmm. into it. Like mm. a lot of the posts are on Instagram are like, oh my God, what happened on this table this weekend? has got to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it can't be shared or whatever like that. It's like it's this oversharing of the sexualization of a relationship. Yeah. Mm. And it, it almost seems like, I right, I see what you're doing here. Now, the most cynical version is the whole thing is contrived and, 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 and orchestrated and put together. The more realistic take is they like each other. They started dating. The tabloids loved it, and they realized they were getting way more press for their relationship maybe than the other things going on in their lives, mm. her movies, his you know, music, etc. So they're like, this is the movie. This is the music. This is the clout. Let's lean into this thing, and we get mutual benefit. Mm. Megan Fox get looked at as the hot girl again. She's in her 30s, has had kids. People always thought she was hot, but maybe she wasn't the hot we chick. We forgot about her. Yeah, maybe there was like other girls. There were also Margot Robbie's coming in looking pretty hot. The We're thing not about being about a Megan. hot girl is there's always another hot girl coming. Mm -hmm. Boom. But now everybody talking about her, and you don't think that her manager and them got the Google Analytics and them be like, yo, people oh, yeah. are searching your name 10,000 times more when you and him are making out in public. Mm. So, and then they're doing the same with him. They're going, yo, people are searching your name 10,000 times more when you guys wear something crazy. And it you're validates talking him. All sexual. Boom. It, so, it, it kind of like reminds us of her and it validates him. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's like when everybody thought that Tom Cruise was gay and all of a sudden he got married twice. Yeah. Like, he, you know what I mean? Like, my man got married and then married again. Yeah. He was like, I am not gay. Dr. Mm. Umar, bro. Dr. Let's Umar on that yeah, ass. Yeah. Right? Like, the dude was with the redhead, Nicole yeah. Kidman. Then Penelope Cruz, like, took down two baddies. Right. Right? And they were like, ah, right, he's not gay. He's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I and still, then he was like, I'm cool with that. As long as they'll call me weird. I can still be the leading man if I'm I weird. I still think he's gay. I still you think do. he's gay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But en enough of the Midwest motherfuckers were like, all right, you could still do Mission mm, Impossible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll keep watching. <laughs> Mark brought up a point about, this is an MGK point, but Mark brought up something, and I think it was an interesting question he asked you, Al, and I didn't get an answer, is how do you feel about white rappers who transition into rock? Was that what you asked? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because I always yeah. think it's a little bit like, it looks a little bit like you just kind of used rap and black people to elevate yourself, and then you transition into something more mainstream. Sometimes it depends how they do it. Whereas, so like uh, Post Malone, for example, he was a little... Like a little sketchy with, with White Iverson, Corn Rose, yeah, White Iverson, rapping about basketball, uh, Phantom doing donuts and shit like that, and then quickly switched yeah. up and showed kind of who he really is. But like, if you, uh, what was that other guy? The guy also from I think Texas with like big teeth and shit like Paul that. Wall, Paul Wall, baby. No, Paul no, 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 no. Uh, another weird looking dude. Oh, Bubba Sparks. Not even him. It's just, Fucking, uh, is this a new guy? Riff Raff. Oh, Riff Raff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that water. is somebody, like, if he switched over to, like, country or whatever, I would be like, oh, yeah, you yeah, would you just, just use this You just use the culture just to get you on, and then you switched up. Because it looks so performative. Mm -hmm. So it kind of depend, depends how you, how you do it. We were talking about this with Derek Poston. Well, yeah. Sorry, what were you I was say? saying, I kind of thought that about MGK a little bit. I was like, oh, you used it, and then you became... It's the Kid Rock shit. I felt, felt that about Kid Rock, is you were, like, this rap rock guy, and now you're, like, this kind of... Kind of alt right type, like country, you know, country mother, and it's like, yeah. bro, Kid Rock, uh, Kid Rock, yeah, 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 that's what you're doing. And then I don't get this. I don't think MGK is by any stretch gonna go alt right, but I get a similar, like, you just kind of use this and then transition into no, mm. now you're a rock star. But I think people can have different genres of music yeah, inside them. Like there possible. are rappers that change their shit up and then they start singing a little bit more, yeah, and like there are B stars that start like rapping and. Then they're like fucking rock musicians that go into fucking country, like Darius yeah. Rucker and shit. If right? you want to get into music that hasn't, that you're not stepping on black people to get there, like there's no music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. all music like is pioneered yeah. by black people. So, like, even if he does that. rock, it's still black music. Yeah. 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 So he's still fucking with the same genre. Yeah. I, it just feels a little bit I understand bit what different. you're saying. Yeah, in yeah, the, yeah. You're looking at the most cynical version of it. Yeah. There is also And maybe potentially... I'm cynical about him because he also almost fought Andrew at the VMAs. Nah, <laughs> Charlemagne, Charlemagne. Yeah, I was just, you, you I was just backing up back Charlemagne. Up. Of course, that's my guy. <laughs> yeah. But um, but yeah, man, it's like yeah, the VMAs are a hot one for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
But yeah, it's interesting. We were having this this conversation with Derek Poston, who's been opening up on the Infamous tour, uh, because Akash doesn't like us and, uh, <laughs> and has more important things to do. So, uh, but no, no, Derek, Derek is fucking great. And uh, he was, we were having this conversation about like white rappers, and it was like what you need to do to be a white rapper, mm. and you either need to be funny, like actually hilarious, funny, Jack Harlow, Jack Harlow, uh, or an Eminem, mm -hmm. or troubled, severely troubled, and Eminem. Began. Oh yeah, right. And there's probably other like white rappers that are like a Mac Miller was like like troubled. There was yeah. something going on. I mean, there. Lil Xan was like that was his whole ego. Like that was his whole essence. That he was just he was like just sad, troubled, confused, mm -hmm. like. And, and we were, and then, and I was asking Derek and Al. I think you were there too, yeah. right? And it was just like, what is that? And uh, I think there, I think Derek was just saying, it's like, well, yeah, like funny always wins. Like you just funny. Get your respect always. Yeah. And then if you're troubled, it's almost like uh, he's too fucked up to let him know he's stealing the black shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he, he about to kill himself anyway. Don't don't <laughs> don't force him over there. Is there something? Yeah. There's like a little empathy for people really going through it. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. And if you're in the middle ground, like Post Malone was in the middle. Mm -hmm. He's like, I, I just want to have fun and do music. And he was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Black people were like, not like, you either going to make us laugh or you're going to almost kill yourself mm. <laughs> if you're going to do this rock, yeah. hip hop shit. Yep. And he was like, I am a rock musician. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. And that is the fun genre. Yeah. That's a genre where you get to just fucking party and right. shit. Just do the drugs. And Post and looks fun. a little troubled. Say what? He looks a little troubled. He looks it, but he's he's jovial. Like he's, he he's smiles. Funny yeah. with a buddy. Seems yeah. like a great guy. Seems like a fun hang. Yeah, like, yeah. He does. I've heard stories of him just like drinking, playing beer pong and shit. Yeah, like it just seems like a, like a hang. I don't know. He. It was so funny. Like to to go back to the Jack Harlow thing. Like, did you see Jack Harlow approach? God, I sound like such a Sweetie. fucking teenager. Jack Harlow approached Sweetie. This is yeah. back in the BT Awards, maybe or yeah, something I think like that. So. so he he walks up to to Sweetie and introduces himself. And uh, he goes, he goes, how you doing? I'm Jack or something like that. Like looks her up and down. How you doing? I'm Jack, right? Yesterday at the VMAs, he's walking the red carpet and he sees Lil Nas X. And, and he walks up to Lil Nas thing. X and does the same thing. He looks Lil Nas X up and down and Lil Nas X goes, Jack, don't do anything sus. <laughs> <laughs> the gay dude got to tell yeah. the straight dude not to do sus yeah. shit. Yeah, that's a I was funny. like, oh, that's fire, bro. That's funny. <laughs> the guy's funny. He's funny. Funny wins. Funny wins, man. Yeah, now he gets it. There was a uh, there's a couple fights over the weekend. Did you guys see? I didn't watch the fights. I saw highlights though. Yeah, that's all you needed. Yeah, yeah. this uh, one was the least. I had never been less interested in a thriller fight. Yeah. Usually they're good at spectacle and like having this kind of like I have to watch this whatever it is. Yeah. And this time I was like, nah. There wasn't someone to pull you in. No, and Holyfield apparently was a last second fill in too. Yeah, so that, it was, was supposed nothing. to be Oscar versus yeah. Vitor Belfort, and I think Oscar would have pulled some casuals in. Yes. Like, I don't know if it if it does what uh, Jake Paul does or something no. like that, or like even like Holyfield or whatever, but not Holyfield, um, Mike Tyson and mm. um, Roy Jones. But I think Oscar's a big enough name. You're like, nah, let's see if Oscar still got it. Right. And uh, But what was interesting was um, Anderson Silva fought. Yeah. And he fought Tito Ortiz. And he knocked out Tito Ortiz. And it, it almost looked like scripted the way that yeah. he knocked him out. But the way that Tito went down, it seemed very legit. Like, he seemed, like, truly concussed. Did mm. you guys see that? I did. The clips? No, I didn't see the knockout. No, I didn't. But um, it sets up a really interesting fight. I think Anderson Silva versus Jake Paul. You think so? I'll tell you why. He wants it. Uh, yeah, yeah. They all do. I'll, I'll tell you why, though. Anderson's, I, I think Jake Paul is smart to continue to fight MMA guys. Yeah, absolutely. Because it enrages the MMA community, and he needs animosity for the interests. Yeah. He has to do the Mayweather thing where people are paying to see the guy lose. Yeah. Right? I think that he'll eventually get more and more fans that want to see him win and knock these people out. But a lot of people are going to watch these fights because they want to see him get his ass kicked. Yeah. And... Anderson, when he was the best fighter in the fucking world, I think beats anybody. But now he's, what, 48 or something? 46? Yeah, he looks, he he's looked up old. There. He's up there. But he's a nice fucking boxer. He just beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Okay. Like, who was, who was a pretty legit boxer in his day. So I think what Jake needs to do is continue picking away at MMA guys. And Anderson has enough legacy Anderson has enough popularity. Anderson has enough support in the MMA community, but he also has the boxing pedigree 
where people be like, okay, this is going to be the MMA guy to take out Jake. And this way he can continue to drive the wedge with the UFC. He gets to talk all the shit he wants about Dana White and fighter pay and all that other stuff. I'm going to give Anderson Silva his biggest payday ever, just mm. like I gave Tyron his biggest payday. Really enrage the MMA community, which is the strongest community in fight sports right now. Get them all to support Anderson Silva. Every one of those fighters that came up watching Anderson Silva thinking he was the greatest fighter that's mm. ever existed. There was a time where I think he had fucking won like 10 fights in a row. So like he was just unbelievable mm. in his heyday. I think that is the next fight to make for Jake. Mm. Mm. And similar height and weight. They are similar it, height and weight. That's the thing. Now we're getting into, it's not like he's taking advantage of like a smaller ben guy. Ben Askren's small guy. Tyron ben, Woodley, slump smaller than Jake. But this, Anderson Silver, 6'2", 185. Now Jake probably walks around over two. Anderson will fuck him up. And that's what uh, we need people to I think. Was, I was just watching the highlight of how he caught him. Yeah. Great head movement. Oh, I mean... Just came around counter yeah. hook like that was impressive and, and comfortable. Yeah, it looks like more boxing than an MMA fighter. Way more. That was impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really comfortable in the pocket, which mm. I think could be dangerous for Jake because he's able to take advantage of MMA guys and not being comfortable in the pocket. Because if it's an MMA fight, you only need some part of the fist to touch your head and you're going down. Yeah. yeah. So there isn't a lot of that bob and weaving yeah, like we yeah, were yeah. seeing in there. Whereas boxing, it's like you got your gloves kind of covering up. You can move around. I'm just saying that to me, I think Jake, fuck boxers. Don't fight Tommy Fury. Don't fight any of the boxers. Fight MMA guys mm -hmm. with big enough names, pedigrees, and resumes where the whole MMA community is behind them mm. and let that drive the fuck I don't think he wants assist. Anderson Silva, though. I, I agree. It's a tough yeah. fight. That's a tough fight. Anderson like, will fuck him up. You had to go <laughs> rounds with Tyron Woodley. Who's, you know, he's a decent striker, but, like, not amazing. Yeah. Anderson Silva, I think, could. He got hit, but he's older. He's the guy's 48. Is he 48? 40, 46, according 46. to this. 46. Yeah. To me, he looked old, and that's where I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know if he's going to hold up. He just looked old. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the, the punch is great, but also, who is he fighting, Tito Ortiz? He's not a boxer, is he? He was an MMA he's guy. An MMA guy also, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't, to me, it, I, I don't know shit. It seemed like a lateral move in the sense that, like, all right, you fought one MMA guy who can kind of fight. This one's a better striker, but also much older. And it seemed like a lateral move in that sense. Yeah. The challenge, I think, needs to seem a little bit bigger for me to seem interested. And maybe Anderson Silva will do it. Maybe you guys will convince me by the time the fight rolls around, I'll buy it again. I think if you were a bigger MMA fan... Yeah, yeah, that's the thing is these MMA. I was looking at the fucking story as I was researching, and these fans were like, ah, "This is gonna be the guy to knock out Jake." And it's like every single fight, this guy. I can't wait till this guy knocks out Jake. Yeah, they are just dying, and they're so sure every next guy that gets brought up is gonna knock out Jake Paul, yeah. and they want it to happen so badly. Yeah, and to your point, that's what's gonna make money. Monetize that feeling. You got it. Yeah, you yeah. can't. People can't. People aren't going to buy a fight they're kind of interested in seeing the outcome of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see a motherfucker get Emotional knocked out, you're buying. Investment. Yeah, you have also, to get emotionally invested for 50 bucks. Yes. That's not nothing. Yes, 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 yes. How, how good is Anderson Silva's English? He pretended mm. to not speak English back in the day. Right, so I So he this. wouldn't have to do the shit talk with like Chael Sonnen. But oh, he's really? actually, yeah, he can speak English. He's good. Could huh. he shit talk with Jake to build a fight? So he's an interesting one because he's like... He's never really been a shit talker. That's what I'm saying. Well, but he also trolls big time. So he trolls in the fight, but I think before he's capable of doing it as well. Mm. So like, yeah, I don't know. I, again, you, you want him to be able to help build the hype for the fight. He's going to have more genuine interest than Tyron, but Tyron, the week of the fight, really Tyron built killed it up. The week he up. fucking I wasn't it. interested until the week so, of. Yeah. Earned his money. Yep. He earned his money. He murdered it. So what is Anderson going to do to build it up, right? He's not going to tap into any, like, racial division, right? Because while he's a black dude, he's a black dude from Brazil, Brazil. and they have their own yeah. Yeah. kind of, like, colorism thing going on. Yeah. Um, so that's not going to be something that maybe... He's not going to go all Black Lives Matter on Jake Paul or all, why are you trying to be hip-hop or something like that. His issues are completely detached from that. Yeah. So this is going to be, like... There's going to be, he's going to have to really pretend to go, I want to beat him for the MMA community. Yeah. So you put the respect on strikers from that. And I don't even know if he feels that. I think yeah. he's just like, I'm 46. I'm trying to make a few million before I uh, finish yeah. this fighting mm. shit. And then also how big is that, is, the, is that like uh, audience you're tapping into versus someone else that can just tap into, yo, I want to smash you like on some racial shit, like on some other nah, thing. I like, think his name and me. The name is big. Yeah, maybe me because I was all head UFC. Right. Like he was the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. When you were doing probably when you were doing martial arts. Yeah. Yeah. He like, was, he was that the guy. greatest martial artist. That guy. 
Yeah. And They'd so ever impressive because he point. could do everything. He yeah. could strike. He can get kill you on the ground. Yeah. The, the defense was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I'm, so thinking, this from, fight I'm thinking from Jake's perspective, he's like, all right, he's a good fighter. He's got hands. He's like a champion. It's risky, and he might not bring much and to the... And he's not going to bring a ton. Like, let me fight a fucking another basketball tomato player. Tomato can, yeah. Yeah, like... Crazy thing, and I'll give this up to you. Isn't this the fucking bout that Trump was announcing? Mm-hmm. Yes. The Holyfield one. Uh, but, I mean, this yes, is in the, the same fight card, card. I think, Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. No one's talking about that shit. No one's talking about it. <laughs> like, Jake Paul has a bigger trough than the ex-president. Oh, yeah. Ta- Why are you giving it up to me? What did I say? No, nah, just because you said like Jake Paul's the biggest draw of oh, any yeah, fighter. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. I had this yeah, thought yeah. too. That's crazy. That Jake Paul might be yeah. saving boxing. Yeah. Because not even that, just I think MMA, as it got more and more popular, they looked at boxing as like, it's this thing, we can all do it. Jake Paul is proving you can take elite MMA, not necessarily strikers, but elite MMA fighters, put them in a boxing ring. And then a Disney star who's been training at boxing for three years yeah. can kick the shit out of them. Yeah, I think maybe maybe what we were doing with Brendan that I was saying that or something like that. Oh, okay. but yeah, but you're 100 percent right. Anderson it, was like, I have to. I'm taking the the art of boxing so seriously. Yeah, yeah. Like they're realizing how different it is. It's not like oh, we do everything. I kick your ass in a boxing match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Connor and Floyd. We all knew Floyd is gonna win, but some people thought Connor would. And now we're like, yo, it's not even the best in the world. It's not even the best ever. It's a fucking Disney star yeah. who puts out YouTube videos but's trained for three years can beat an MMA guy. Yeah. Elite MMA fighter. Exactly. So who's been you, training when, for months. When you say you're saving boxing, it's not like um, you're bringing attention to boxing. It's you're putting respect putting, on the skill. Yeah, yeah, you're reestablishing respect for the sport that was kind of starting to get forgotten as like a second Completely. tier. Completely. Uh, UFC, they do everything. These guys yeah. can box. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. yeah and yeah. now it's like, nah, boxing it is, is a different skill. animal. It's not something that's just part of the MMA yes. package. It is its own skill. And if you do not train it by itself, when fighting somebody within that discipline, you will lose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if they have far less fight experience uh, than you, like way less, it doesn't even matter. It is its own specific skill. It's kind of it's kind of pretty cool. Yeah, it just needs to have like the infrastructure and personalities that the UFC does, and they just do that so fucking brilliantly. Yeah, it's really amazing, really amazing. Uh, what else we got, Mark? Uh, can we take a quick break really yeah. fast? Yes, we can. I gotta get my iPhone charger. All right, guys, we gonna take a break for a second because some of y'all fucking stink. Boy, okay, dude. y'all really smell bad. And you need to change that. You need to change that for your girl. You need to change that for the fellas you hang out with. You need to change that for your shirts. Your shirts smell. You have body odor, okay? And you have to put a stop to that body odor. It's absolutely disgusting. Care about the people around you. Care about the people around you. If there's one thing the pandemic has told us, we got we to gotta take care of the people around us. And you got to start with yourself, okay? And you're going to do that with Native. I'm telling you, Native's got the stuff to make you stop smelling like shit. Simple about that. And here's the thing. Native cares about the products that you put on your body, okay? They're about stopping the stink the right way. That's the Native difference. So you probably already know about Native's legendary aluminum-free deodorant, but have you tried the body wash, toothpaste, or their brand-new mineral-based sunscreen? No, you haven't yet, and you're gonna, okay? Native now has a broad-spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen for your face and body. It's lightweight, absorbs quickly, and you can choose between unscented or you can keep it uh, Caribbean with that coconut and pineapple. I don't even know if they got coconuts in the Caribbean. That's more Hawaiian. Natives on a mission to overhaul your entire hygiene routine by putting the care in self-care with simple products that are carefully made to work against odor, odor, that are made with the most brilliant ingredients and smell great okay you can get their deodorant and body wash and amazing scents like coconut and vanilla citrus and herbal musk lavender and rose and more so go do that okay you can even build your own product bundles i suggest you do that if you know the taste the flavors well not the taste don't go out there tasting it. but if you know that the the, the the smells that you like and that you're drawn to the scents thank you so much Akash. Mm-hmm. stay fresh stay clean with native by going to nativedo.com slash flagrant or use the promo code flagrant at checkout. You get 20% off your first order, okay? That's nativedo.com slash flagrant or use the promo code flagrant at checkout for 20% off your first order. Now let's get back to the show. Oh, and also I want to shout out my boy Laurent who became a father, okay, oh, yeah. Congrats, over the past Laurent. week. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. 
shout out to him yeah. and his wife. I'll you know leave his wife's name out of here because I don't know if he wants to share the family. You know, we're protected of, of the loved ones over here in Flagrant too, but she did all the work. So congrats to you. Um and, and you know, Laurent, you guys probably know Laurent because he is the maestro behind Jerk Your Meat. You guys sold out his whole inventory last time we talked about it on the podcast. And my man, since he was doing absolutely nothing while his wife was pushing out the baby, Laurent, you did nothing. He was in the kitchen cooking up more jerky, okay? The guy is back. If you couldn't get any last time, you can get it now. Jerk Your Meat. Or if you got it last time, you absolutely loved it, you can get it now. I recommend the pineapple. It's absolutely amazing. The... Uh, the beef, that Korean beef one is absolutely delicious, too. Make sure you go check them out. You can get them at uh, jerkyourmeat.com. Yep, and use promo code FLAGRANT at checkout for 20% off. Just out of love. He just loves us. That's love, okay? Jerk your meat, okay, at flagrant.com. Just, just to let you guys know, we're not making any money off this. Nothing. This is the family. This is the love, okay? I'm telling you, this is a great guy. Just became a father. Uh, absolutely amazing story. And um, I'm really proud of him. I love him. And uh, you guys should support him if you can, if you want to try some great jerky. That pineapple is it's, it's a little crazy. The pineapple is wild. Enjoy. Let's get back to the show. All right. Um, just to put a button on this, like, fighter combo, uh, I saw an interesting thing. This is old-er, but Khabib was on Mike Tyson's podcast. Oh, yeah. And um, That was great. It was really interesting because – the conversation about like shit talk to promote a fight came up hmm. and uh, who was the other guy on uh, the triple champ? What's the fuck is his name? Is the other guy on the Mike Tyson podcast? I only know oh, Mike Tyson. Uh, not, what, the other small guy. Yeah. I forget his fucking yeah. name. My bad. I'm sorry. I forgot your name, bro. Uh, but the triple champ says, uh, you know, cause could brings it up and then he goes, the triple channel, but don't you think there's certain things you just can't talk trash about, you know, like religion or someone's mother. And it might just take a second. He goes, man, I just know in this game, anything goes. Hmm. And I thought it was really interesting. Hmm. I thought it was really interesting. Just like in this game, anything goes, anything fucking goes like there aren't rules. You know, like it makes sense to me because he he said he was going to eat people's children. Yeah, like, he also, I mean, the guy swindled him, but he was managed by Don King, King promoter. Yeah. Anything goes. Mm. Anything goes. So I think he's also on a certain end when he says anything goes. He's like it's a dirty fucking game on yeah. every end. So mm -hmm. whatever is said, yeah. it's all shit. But it makes sense that coming up under one of the greatest promoters of all time. Yeah. You're like, yeah, anything goes. This guy can make anything go. Yeah. It'd be nice if people didn't talk about your mom. It'd be nice if people didn't talk about your religion. But the idea that, like, these things are not allowed, mm -hmm. it's like it's, people die in the ring, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going that's in true. there, and a guy, he's not trying to kill you, but if that's what happens, he's okay with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, if you punch a guy in the face enough and then they end up dying, like, yeah. you're not shocked at that. Yeah. If you're a boxer and MMA fighter, you know that this has happened many times. As he said, I've had friends die in there. That's it. That's what it is. So if if that's what I'm going in thinking, I'm not really worried about talking shit about your religion or your mom. Yeah. It's fucked up, yes. Are there things that are like messed up? Yes. But is there this rule in fight sports that you can't? We all know that doesn't exist. If anything, mm. I would rather you do it to help me kick it into an extra gear so I can win this fight. Because mm. I'm going to take every fucking inch I could get when we're both fighting, essentially, for our lives. <sighs> That's the thing. Like, there's certain people. Like, I get more motivated by talking shit because now I got to back up the shit talk. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes I'll talk shit just so I put the pressure on myself to, mm. to deliver. Mm. Mm. Right. You know? Because if I don't talk shit, it's like, hey, yeah, everybody good. We're all good friends. Oh, my friend won, but he's a good guy. Mm. Fuck that guy. That yeah. guy hates me. Right. I want you to say something to me to let me know that you hate me mm -hmm. so that I could wake up at 6 a.m. <laughs> every single day and be yeah. training for when the I'm guy When I'm maniacal, who hates you me. gave me the excuse. Yeah. 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 Mm. When I saw Connor say he was going to promote uh, Dustin's hot sauce, I was like, oh, it's over. Like, yeah. Yeah. Connor doesn't have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. You're in business with this guy. Yeah. Mm. You don't yeah. want to take this guy's head off. You want to promote his hot sauce. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like, it's like uh, that saying we always say on the podcast, but like two countries that have a McDonald's have never gone to war since they yeah, both yeah, have yeah. a McDonald's. So it's yeah. like once you guys have like mutual assured income or benefit or yeah. business, you're yeah. not going extra on that, man. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it like, might not even be conscious. Like when you're in that dark, like fucking pain cave and you're like, do I push through and try yes. to fucking kill this guy? My nose is broken. I don't feel like it. Yeah. Or do I just kind of hope for a decision and, and hope sell it works his hot out? sauce? Yeah. 
<laughs> so talk all the shit. Yes. Help me fight in that. Use that term. Help me fight through that pain cave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me get through this. Talk all. I want you to. I want to remember when you said my wife is a towel. I want to remember that. Yeah. So now let's fucking go. Yeah. And when I win, I win. Yeah. Now that is true. Also, guy's name was Henry Cejudo. Henry Cejudo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck. My bad, Henry. Sorry about that, my dude. <laughs> You're a fucking beast. Um. Yo, let's talk some more deportes. We got some. Uh, well, we got some we got some football, and then we got some tennis. You said you want to talk about the tennis. I know you're a big tennis fan. I'm not a big tennis fan. You are. No, I, I <laughs> wish I was. Anybody who massive follows, tennis fan, if you're a man that follows tennis at all, you're a big okay. tennis fan. Then I'm a big massive tennis, tennis fan. Yeah. Big. Tennis is basically is baseball to me. Yeah. I think <laughs> if you are it's a fan a, of... It's, it's almost volleyball. It is volleyball. There's not, a net. It's, it's volleyball. Not nowhere is soccer, is, like, nowhere as boring as baseball. It's not as boring, but it is a girl sport. It's for These women. people are actual okay. athletes. That'll like, tennis is for women. Yeah. These people are actual... Like, they're actually playing a sport. Where baseball, you stand there, you run it. They're not really while. athletes. They're just, like, rich people. And then, finally, two poor people join the sport, and they just dominated for the last fucking 20 years. <laughs> actually, no. One of them wasn't poor. Only one of them might have been poor, maybe. Venus and Serena were... Related. I'm talking about men's sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about men's sense. I don't, I'm not talking about women's sense. One was four. Women's men's. is the only one that's interesting. No, dude. I'm telling you, if you are a fan of greatness, yeah. this is the coolest time in maybe any sport ever. The three greatest of all time are playing right now. In any sport, if that was happening, you'd be like, you have to appreciate this. I'm not, Montana, a, big, I'm not a big fan of tennis right now, but this is the <laughs> best time to watch. No, this <laughs> is... Oh, Is this what it felt like in the beginning of the podcast? <laughs> yes. Is this what it felt like? No, no, because this is actually interesting. Saying the yep. most boring no, shit No, because ever? this is actually interesting. So, so why are you, you closeted? Basketball, why, you can't be why, are, why, why are tennis... Why is tennis... Because if you're watching... Actually interesting. It's so far less three, impressive than a rhinoceros. The three greatest of anything... Getting a fucking yellow ball over a net? Yeah, yeah, but the three greatest of all time are doing it right now at the same time. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. If you lose a tennis match, Lions what happens? And tigers and if you, lo- if you oh lose my. a rhino match, if you <laughs> lose a rhino match, you're dead. Say Son, what? he's taking baby cubs. Ain't nothing going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go back to your little uh, fault. So, the three greatest of all time <laughs> are Lions. playing at the same time. If you're yeah. watching, like, all the shit, we're like, oh, I would love to see. Um, How great are they? I would love to see Montana and Brady, you know, lead football but teams. How great are they? Like, give me an example of how great are they? So you have tournaments like uh, championships, basically. Yeah. The greatest of all time before had 14. Okay. There are now three guys with 20 each. So all neither of them is that great. No, they're the three greatest they're of all time. Average. Yeah, if, but they're, they're just they're like, equal, they're, no one's dominant. Like, you're basically looking at the least <laughs> dominant time in tennis. You're looking at the most <laughs> dominant the least time dominant, in tennis. It's the least dominant because there's the three most, people all dominating yeah, the same. Yeah. Yeah. You got a tie. You got the three, three fucking bronze medalists. 128 nah, people enter every tournament. Every bronze medalists. 128 go. people enter every tournament. One of the same three has won pretty much every time for the last 18 years. Yeah, so nobody's dominant. Yeah, the most dominant time in the history of any sport is right now. How do you define three dominance? Three elite players. One person tying all the time? <laughs> no, if there's three players. Well, they're is, not tying. Is dominance you can't tie. tying? Three well, people are tie. tied. They're 20. You got, you got yeah, 20, Yeah, you can go right? back and forth. That's like having five championships and five championships. They're not tying in the NBA finals. Yeah, neither of mm. those teams are dominant. So the Celtics weren't dominant. The Lakers weren't dominant. If they did it in other row, teams, won. If the Bulls did, when the Bulls did in a row, they were yeah, dominant. Yeah. But if you're going back and forth with another team, neither is dominant. They're it's not, the least <laughs> dominant time in history of tennis. They're all having dominant runs. It's the and least dominant time in history of tennis. But keep I, on describing. I know why you need to do this. Oh, yeah. I know why I you need to do this. I love that. But it's the most dominant it. time. Keep See doing how it. it's not just keep poaching doing it. Keep doing cups. the... Say what? Oh, I'm doing this just cups. for comedic value. Yeah. I would I would get in yeah. on this because it is kind of exciting. Yeah. But I have to cut your legs Most dominant time in the history of tennis. Yeah, yeah. Most dominant time of men who wear like wrist guards. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, they wear wrist guards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's sweaty. And it's the greatest of all time. <laughs> wrist guard so wearing yeah. yeah. so Sweat in the eye. That's difficult, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. difficult. Yeah. Sweat in the eye. And bro. then you got to play? You got to see you a gonna, ball? Like, you got to slide on your sneakers? Oh. That shit is you, you, you got to go. So you, gotta go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you know how much effort you got to do in a grunt? Son. <laughs> that's mad effort. That is true. And then they get so pissed off. And you three guys that are grunts. And he grunts when he sits down. I'm 37. Uh, uh, I'm 37. Oh my god! Yeah. Djokovic's surf is 130 miles per hour. I think he could trap a rhino with his surf. What? There's your answer. Yeah. Hold Djokovic on. could yeah, yeah. kill a rhino with his surf. No, Done. he couldn't. Absolutely, oh, no, yeah. he couldn't. Yeah. No, he fucked yeah. him. Yeah. Get 100%. It on the boat. That's you know what rhinos 100%. are even made out of? Boom, you know what bro. rhinos are made out of? Steel. They're made yes. out of steel, bro. They're made out of dinosaur. <laughs> Rhinos are made out of dinosaurs. He could kill a velociraptor with his There's serve. no way he could. Son, with his 100%. accuracy, right in the eye. Boom. Son, I'll be honest with you. I right could take eye. his serve in my chest. A tennis ball would not hurt me. 
I that's would love to see that. That's serious. probably true. Being 100% serious. Tennis ball well, to the chest. Wouldn't hurt me. We may have a gun that can shoot a <laughs> tennis ball at the speed a of gun maybe. gun is different. <laughs> no, no, no. The t-shirt gun that we have. 130 miles from a uh, tennis racket is different than 130 miles from a gun. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, it's like the same trans fighters. It's the same it's 130. It's the same 130 miles. No, no. Bone density. Ball density. <laughs> it's a ball density. The, the ball yeah. density no, is yeah. far greater when you're hitting off a racket. I think, a get I think we should get this done. I think we should get this done. I think we should get this done. Let's get the gun. Let's get the gun. Let's let's get the gun. Listen, I don't believe in that. Let's get the oh, gun. Listen, listen. No, it, 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 doesn't have the, it doesn't have the sauce in it. It doesn't have the sauce. God. Does it not? What a shame. What a shame. And we can't buy it because you can't put it on planes. Anyway, go, go, go. We'll do it at one of the shows. It'll be great. Great celebration. Keep on going. Talk about the least dominant time in tennis in history. So the most dominant time in the history of any sport is right now. Do you love it because it's just white people <laughs> is it is it you just love watching white athleticism is yeah. i do enjoy white excellence. White i do excellence. enjoy white excellence there's not yeah, enough yeah. of it in sports <laughs> i do personally like to see them win the something. underdog i do okay okay go. absolutely okay, I love so the who are the dominant sports. ones there's roger there's federer nickel what is it uh, novak djokovic novak djokovic roger federer roger rafael federer. nadal what Rafael Nadal. Rafael Nadal. Nadal. Yeah. You okay. watch F1, so you know all about Europeans. Doing <laughs> Son, I love Formula One. Yeah. Shouts to Daniel Ricciardo winning Monza. Shouts to Team McLaren. Danny. You know what I mean? That's all I'm talking about. Lando Norris. I love y'all, man. Keep killing it. Okay, go. So keep as a guy who loves Europeans, you yeah, should yeah. like tennis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He likes yeah. Romans. He likes Romans. Yeah, I mean, Djokovic isn't from Europe, dude. And the, the he's crazy Serbian. thing. No, he's not from Europe. <laughs> the crazy thing, the three people that are so dominant, all three of them lost. <laughs> yeah, they lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah so what's your argument mean? about domination? <laughs> so, so none of them were dominant enough to win the fucking tournament? They're all in this tournament and got beat. They got your yeah. asses. Yo, he's whooped. looking at you so crazy. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> even the girls, right? Didn't some like uh, fucking Filipino girl yeah, from yeah, like, yeah, Great Britain? That, that story's that amazing. Tennis. That story's li- actually that, Yeah, she was like number I 76. Even know Anybody story. can win in this. It's like college football, dude. Why don't we just, why don't you call it college football? Tennis is a coin flip. No, it's, tennis is a really Tennis is a coin flip between three people. Dude, it's poker. Yeah, poker's a fucking... It takes massive skill. No, it's poker. not a coin flip between, between three people because no, you know, all three, you, of yeah, all three of them lost. Yeah. All three of them lost, right? Actually, They're losers? only one of them played in this tournament. They couldn't even qualify? I thought you just said all three were no, in the tournament. They couldn't no, even qualify. Two were injured. What, what, what injury could you possibly get just doing that? Tennis elbow? That's yeah. all? It's a fucking oh, critical so diagnosis. <laughs> tennis elbow. elbows hurt from <laughs> swatting. You swat for a living, dog. Yeah. Have you killed a fly? You can play tennis. 100%. Dude, you okay? watch people this drive. Is sad. This you is watch sad. people drive. How do you watch That's only impressive to a New Yorker. This. How do you watch football and then you watch this? This was so much more impressive than any football okay, game. Okay, so go back to your unimpressive sport. Outside of Tom Brady, <laughs> yeah. no football player impresses me as much as what's happening in tennis right now. Okay, explain it. I just did. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that if was you the like, most impressive thing. If you want two out of the three God, didn't do the enter three the greatest. tournament, one lost, and then some random fucking. So this yuppie period one. from 2003 until yeah. now, there have been 72 uh, majors. These three have won 60 of them. Everybody else is just in there. They come, they go. One guy will get one here. There yesterday, a guy got one. I don't know if he's going to be good for that long. He could be. But the same three people for the past 18 years have dominated this sport. And then they go back and forth all the time on who's going to get the record for the most championships ever. And it's just a fucking incredible thing to watch. And it's almost over. Two of the guys are dumb old. So it's almost over. And you should just enjoy. If you watch greatness and appreciate greatness, just watch tennis right now and enjoy it. Who's great? Rafael Nadal. (laughs) But which one of them is great? All three of the greatest of all time. Are you sure that like athletes haven't found real sports and then this is just what's left and they're like <laughs> these are like the mediocre guys that are all fighting for me? Could you beat Nadal? If I could beat him not on clay, he's good on clay, but I could beat him <laughs> on anything else. Yeah. I don't believe in playing on clay. Like, why are we switching the bottoms up? Like, yeah, why don't you front the money and then put the fucking grass well, down? Well, it's like yeah. a racetrack. I could beat him at one. Wimbledon. You could not beat him at Wimbledon. I could beat him at Wimbledon. Not Wimbledon. No I chance at Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Yeah. I could beat him at Wimbledon. I could beat him at Wimbledon. Wimbledon. <laughs> he's won at Wimbledon. He has? Yeah, he beat Roger Federer at Wimbledon. Yeah, but Roger Federer is 75 years old. He's from nah, Switzerland. Nah, Roger Federer in his prime. Roger Federer is a Swiss cuck. <laughs> he's a Swiss cuck. I don't have a problem Anytime with that. Anytime he feels a little bit of adversity, he just folds. You yeah. bend that man right over. No, that's, that's what I would that's do. That's not true. He's a Swiss fuck. No, that's not, he's, not, he's, not, he's not Swiss fuck. He's a Swiss fuck. Or a Swiss cuck. He's a Swiss cuck. He's a Swiss fuck. What about, Nadal? What about right Nadal? Over. Say what? N- Nadal. He's a Spanish cuck. What do you think? Yeah, he, but he's left handed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just hit it to his other hand. <laughs> dude, tennis Nadal's is so easy. Dude. Nadal's backhand? Just hit it to his other hand. No, what? you know what? You know how but, fast he is? He just runs around the backhand, makes it a forehand. Not when Whoa. I hit it to him. 
Why don't he, just, they just, he doesn't have a backhand. I just hit it to his backhand. Done. Game over. Yeah. This is light work. Why don't they just yeah. try to hit him with the serve and then debilitate them like a rhino? That's a good idea. Why don't they just do that? If Why wouldn't so, they do that? If it's so powerful. Exactly. They will kill Rhino Asurai, all three of them, with their bare hands. Can't do with it. With their bare hands. Can't do it. With their bare Can't hands. Can't do it. Rafael Nadal faster than a tiger. <laughs> Not even close. He would have just picked up the Cubs I've and just him. ran. And I've just outran. He would have just outrun I've met the, the guy. mother just because. I met the guy. And then after the mother was tired, he'd pick her up, put her on the boat too. I've met him. Where? In Barcelona. Yeah. Swear to God in my life when I was living there. Really? So what did you say to him? You walked up to him and said, what? Nah, I said, he what's was, up? He was, he was busy I swear to God in my life. Did post, he try to get a picture with you? And you're like, nah. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't offer him a picture. He wasn't as big. <laughs> he wasn't as big. He wasn't as big. Left arm massive. Right arm noticeably smaller. Jerking like, off uncomfortable. Or Maybe jerking off. Oh, Maybe shit. that. Maybe that. Maybe that. That's your God. I'll he will you. kill All a right. tiger right now. Tell us about this great time in tennis. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but where was the story? Yeah, what's what 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 are you trying to like get? What happened so this week was tournament. interesting. Well, the Russian guy beat everyone. Yeah, this Russian Medvedev? kid. This Russian kid yeah. just fucking got his ass kicked twice in the final. Came and then he just watched. I never seen somebody. You should see. I've never seen somebody who looks less athletic. He looks like he invented Ethereum. <laughs> Medvedev. <laughs> Medvedev. It's remarkable. Yeah. It's remarkable. How the fuck is that an athlete? And he moves like a fucking gazelle. It's no, crazy. he doesn't move like a gazelle. Crazy. So wait a minute. Gazelles are impressive then. The way they move. Yeah. Okay. And if you count them and brought them back to Rome, that would be pretty cool or no? That would be pretty cool. Okay. But just, if you told a story sure about kidnapping cubs, that sucks. Just making sure we're on the same page. Let's look at this guy right here. This does not look like an athlete. He don't look no. like an athlete. That's Robbie though. Slovak. Oh, my God. Robbie Slovak won the U.S. Open. <laughs> That's not bad, Dad. Robbie Slovak is the U.S. Open astounding. champion. And this guy is number two in the world. Yeah. So uh, he's better than the other two dominant guys. Come on. Come on. Like, why are we lying to right ourselves now, about I don't have to do with majors. Majors is what matters at the <laughs> end of the day. Need? It's like being a one seed in the regular season. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nah. Yeah, that's nah. exact. I actually summed it up perfectly, and you just said nah because you had no yeah, response. Yeah, I did. I did. It was good. It was actually a perfect nah. response. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I feel like I covered it pretty well. <laughs> I will say okay. the chick that won the U.S. Open is unbelievable. So yeah. she went in 18 years old. She was 150th. Beat everyone in the qualifiers, didn't drop a set. Beat everyone in the whole tournament, didn't drop a set. At 18, was the youngest woman to win the U.S. Open. Came out on top, champion. New, and it was the youngest championship of all time. And the girl that she was playing was also, yeah, like ranked seventy six or something like that. Yeah. Like this was like the uh, underdog, yeah, tournament. Well, once Osaka pulled out, and then Serena's kind of old and kind of done. I really think the women's field is just anybody can win at this point. Mm -hmm. Wait, how old is she? She's eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about a real sport. Football is back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you watch any football this weekend? Or am I going to have to talk us through this? You got to talk us through okay. this, but I watched a little bit of the uh, uh, the final game. The last night. The Rams game? Yeah, I watched a little bit of the Rams okay. game. Yeah, okay. just a little bit of it. The final game? Yeah, yeah. I could give a fuck. I could give a fuck. <laughs> I was like, whatever the last game was, I put that shit on. I was like, all right, I got to go out and get somebody to eat. Yeah, <laughs> but I put it on. It was fine, you know. Yeah, it's week one. It's too early to really say anything crazy, but I think the Saints could be good, and it's kind of a testament to the coach of the Saints because Jameis Winston is the quarterback. Yeah, you guys remember Jameis Winston? Jameis Winston yeah. stole the crap out of Was yeah. a bum at Tampa Bay. Yeah, and now he went FSU to FSU legend though. FSU yeah. legend, but then was a bum for the Bucks. I mean, he would throw like thirty touchdowns, but then have like thirty interceptions. Yeah. Crazy. His teammates didn't really respect him. Yeah, but then he went to New Orleans. Studied under Drew Brees for a year, and then his first start, he won the starting job. Five touchdowns. Yeah, but on 150 yards. Five touchdowns is five touchdowns. Is it? Yeah. It's not, I guess it's not, let me not say it's as impressive as 350 yards. Let the running back take you down the field, and then you throw your little five-yard touchdown. That like, kind of is mm. all they need. If you're the Saints who have a fucking incredible defense... You just need to not, if you're Jameis Winston and your problem has always been throwing way too many picks, yeah. if just you're throwing throw, five touchdowns yeah. and you don't have interceptions, yeah. that's They're huge. They basically let him throw less. And, and they the dominated the Packers, who, again, week one, anything can change. Yeah. But the Packers were coming in as like, oh, they're probably going to make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. they just fucking destroyed them. Yeah, why did the Packers suck so much? Was, was Aaron Rodgers just Aaron Rodgers, they just looked like they got to him. Like, yeah. he didn't have protection, and that's the main thing. If you're, I don't care what quarterback you are, including Mahomes in the Super Bowl. If you don't have protection, you're not going to do well. Yeah. No quarterback can overcome that. It doesn't matter how good you are. Gotcha, gotcha. Truly does not matter. And he had two, I think, rookies starting on the line, so he just got destroyed. Yeah. But also, I would remind people this. 
I know we're supposed to talk football, but week one last year, the Bucks got destroyed by the Saints. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then they got yeah, destroyed yeah. by them again midway through the year. And then and in that, the playoffs, they beat the Bu- they beat the Saints. You yeah. think there's so, any bitterness of the old uh, Rodgers signing late? And the whole yeah, Rodgers also demanded a trade. Or no, said he would retire if he didn't get traded. And then didn't get traded. And he showed up anyway. Had a press conference that he just kind of like aired out all his grievances. It was real weird. Yeah. He's a weird dude. He's, He's an odd weird duck. boy. He's yeah, not he's a duck. little bit weird. Yeah. But again, it's week one, so like I, we're supposed to talk about it, but there's not much to take from week one. Any team impressive? Any rookie impressive? The Saints impressed me. The rookies, I'm sure some rookies played well. The quarterback struggled, I think. Like the number one overall pick, uh, whose name escapes me right now, plays for Jacksonville. I Trevor don't Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. He threw a couple nice passes, but he has no line. He's going to get fucking demolished. There's an interesting stat that was going around about him. This was his first regular season loss. Ever. Mm. Like in high school, he didn't have a That's regular season loss. In college, he didn't have a regular season loss. Crazy. This uh, Maybe you go back to like middle school or Pop Warner, but that's not, I guess, like see regular season. Right. But like sanctioned football games, this is his first that's regular wild. season loss. That's crazy. That's kind of nuts, yeah, right? Yeah, nuts. Pretty impressive. And the quarterback was supposed to be the worst out of all of them, Mac Jones. He looked pretty good. And he's, he's a mobile system. little white guy. Interesting. He's not. He can't run for like 50 yards, but he can move within the pocket and get out of yeah. trouble. And they he didn't look bad. They lost. Yeah. Uh, the Jets guy, everybody says he's going to be good, but they got beat by Sam Darnold, who they got rid of. Yeah, who they got rid of. He had a pretty good game against him. But yeah. again, it's week one. We'll see what happens. It was fun. It's just fun to have football back. Are people over Daniel Jones? Um, yeah, yeah. Daniel Jones is... He's a bum. I, people were confused when they picked him in the first place mm. at number six. Everybody's like, why the fuck are you doing this? He had a good first year. This is the weird thing. When we were... When I first started watching football, it took a quarterback like three years usually to get good because they came from such a different system in college. Now colleges are throwing it all over the place. So I think a lot of times these guys come in and do great their first and second year, and then then the league figures them out, and then they struggle more and more and more. So it's a little reverse of what it used to be. Interesting. Any other game that really like stood out to you? The Any Cowboys game, Bucks game. Obviously, the Cowboys lost. We all knew they would. It was but Tom Brady. I, I don't know. But they looked was, good. Yeah, Dak was was. Yeah, the, the Dak numbers were good. Fucking incredible. Yeah. But you also, this is if you don't win, it doesn't really matter. And the Cowboys will do this. They'll play up to their competition and then down to the competition. Hey. And when it was, the coolest shit though was they drove down the field, kicked a field goal to take the lead with like a minute and a half left, and then they just showed one shot of Brady. And he just looked, he watched the field go through the ups, uprights, nods his head once, puts on his helmet, and then it's like, this is what, this is what I do. Mm. He, every other quarterback you see in that situation is running the line of scrimmage and, and doing all these motions. I literally saw Brady do this once. He walks, he does this. It's just like the most calm, <laughs> like whatever he's signaling is not a fucking frantic thing. The most calm guy in the pocket. And then the last, one of the last plays, the coordinator sends him a call, and then he just says no. <laughs> he just shakes his head. Then he sends another call. And he just says no. And then he sends a call. He likes like a fucking pitcher. But he's like, no, nah, I don't like your call. Hmm. No quarterback does that in that situation, especially. Clock is running down. You're trying to figure it out. And you just no. Usually, when there's less hmm. than two minutes, um, are they taking calls? If it's like an incomplete pass, maybe. Yeah, when the clock is stopped, when the clock stops, there'll be a gotcha. chance to take yeah. call. Or if they go out of bounds, by the way. But if just the clock no is huddle. running, it's just on break, right? Just he, yeah. he says and it at the line. He just walks so fucking calmly. Is so aware of everything. Like to watch someone just have mastery of anything is always cool. Yes. I think, and he has complete mastery of football. Yes. It's crazy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's a uh, I mean it's just crazy to see, man. Like he could very well win another ring. I would love it, dude. I would love it. He is probably the greatest athlete of all time to me. Yeah. It's yeah, it's hard to say. I think we've said it on the podcast mm-hmm. before because we we assume athleticism has something to do with like running fast, jumping high. Um, but he is None of those qualities. No. Nope. Yet he excels at athletics. Yeah. And probably the hardest position in the hardest sport to excel at consistently. Yeah. So he must be the greatest athlete of all time. Greatest sportsman. He's the best at sports. Yeah, but now we're just creating that caveat because he's not very athletic, which just makes sure. him more impressive. You know, yeah. like yeah. if they're like Magic Johnson was not very athletic, but he was the best fucking athlete in the NBA. Or he was the best NBA player, right? I mean, Larry Bird wasn't quicker than anybody. He wasn't faster. He wasn't jumping out of the fucking yeah. gym. He was, he was jogging to his spot, hitting yeah. the three, posting the up. Great pass. He's not athletic. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we got to reconfigure our perception of athleticism. Yeah, it's yeah. like instead of the way he processes 
actual vision lines of being yeah. able to see yeah. what you have to see as a quarterback. I hear what you're saying with sportsmen, right? Because what you're doing is just like saying his greatness within his sport exceeds other people's greatness within their sports. Mm -hmm. Right. But athlete, we're tied to literally just like a genetic, your 40 fast time. twitch like Usain fibers. Bolt, Michael yeah. Phelps shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, just, yeah, just, he is it, man. It's pretty Imagine awesome. Imagine Jordan left the Bulls and then won another ring without Phil. Can I, tell was, you, yeah. can I tell you something about Brady that I think you like? Right. I was having dinner with um, uh, Neil last night, Neil Brennan, and uh, he was telling a, a story, I think like Seth Myers told him about uh, when Brady did SNL. Mm -hmm. So Seth goes to him, he's like, uh, are, you, uh, are you nervous at all? And uh, Brady looks at him 100% seriously, he goes, for this? <laughs> 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 wow. That's a fire spot. Dog, he's the goat of goats, <laughs> so, man. And he goes, and, and, uh, and then Neil says something really funny. He's like, he's like, and why would he? Literally, an ambulance comes to his job. Yeah. Because <laughs> somebody should end up in the ambulance. That's mm. so funny. Right? Like, oh, it's such a great take. And it's so true. And I love how he just like, I know you were like, comedy is important to us. We yeah. love comedy. But the fact that he could look at it like it's like a, a clown posse. Yeah. Like, yeah, you guys are just clowns, right? Like, what are you juggling? Like, he doesn't even know what it is. Like, in his mind, and I guess in order to dedicate your life to it, it has yeah. to be the most important yeah. thing. In his mind, football is the pinnacle, I assume. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, that maybe family and football is the, that is, there is nothing greater than that. Yeah. And you have to have that type of vision in order to dedicate yourself. So anything outside of it, he doesn't give a flying fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, he'll wear some stupid boots. Sure, he'll do a commercial for Subway and in the commercial admit he doesn't even eat bread. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable. Like, he's so great that just attaching him to a brand that he doesn't use still makes you want to fuck with the brand. Yeah. I'll buy Subway. Are we going to buy sneakers from Oscar Pistorius? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If It'll Oscar Pistorius put out a Nike, you going to buy that shit? That'll be kind of fire. I know he took two years off. I'm going to have to get them for the strength. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he took two years off, but Jordan didn't take the Wizards anywhere. The Bucks are the Wizards. They were. Wow. They had one championship, sure, but like this is a, always a shitty franchise. They just are. They're just fucking losers through and through. He gets to it there the first year. Yeah. They go from not even making the playoffs to now we won the Super Bowl. And it was kind of cool it. to see. I just think basketball is different. It's like you, you yeah. one player has more of an impact on the game than one player in football. That's what you would think, and that's what makes it more impressive that he takes the Bucks from not even playoffs yeah, I think that makes to it more win impressive. the Super Bowl. Yeah, but they also he put is, a team around him. It's not like he's the one person who came on I, the team. I think, I think what you're mm. saying makes absolute sense. Well, yeah. And just to make uh, Akash's argument is because one person has so much less of an ability to change the team, if you can, imagine how great you must be. Yes. I think that's what he's trying he to say. He is so a like, culture in, him, like in and of himself. Yeah, but I, if he was the one person they brought to the team after the team was trash, I'd give you that. But what if but he's they, able they to make... they got a squad around him. But what if he's able to make those players that are, might be uh, a little bit problematic on other teams fall in line? Oh, yeah. Like, that's nah. some, I'm like, not saying he's not great, though. Like, we're pulling I understand what you're like, saying. And, like, I, and I, I kind of agree with yeah. you. Like, what I saw Jordan do is just different fundamentally than what I've seen Brady yeah. do. But, like, I do give it up for Brady him. does – I mean, Jordan does things that, that your body – that your mind Physically, can't comprehend can't. a body yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. You're and like, I, I put that in when you say greatest athlete. That's what like, you – that's, I, that's yeah, I think, athlete. That it's like that's part of To it, most like, people, winning. that's what an athlete is. Yeah. It's like – you're the best at that, and you win. Yeah. But if you don't do that, you're not an athlete. If if you're just Tom a Brady great winner. had Cam Newton's athleticism, there'd be no question question who the greatest athlete of all time was. Yeah. Hmm. If Tom Brady looked like I can't believe I'm forgetting. Well, you can even say Russell Wilson, but I was going to say the guy from uh, the uh, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, oh, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Mm. If Tom Brady had Lamar Jackson's athleticism, there'd be no question. Mm. Even if he didn't run out of the pocket. Yeah. But if you just knew that he could at any point in time, Michael Vicks. Yeah. There'd be no question. Yeah. But because he has the athleticism of a fucking substitute teacher, it is so <laughs> hard for you and me to go, he's the greatest athlete. Yeah. It's like something else is going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they didn't add crazy pieces around him when he got there. Like Gronk, Gronk, Fournette. And Antonio? Come Antonio on, Antonio Bryant. Come on. Or Antonio Brown. Brown didn't even really play until the playoffs last year. And then he caught one touchdown in the Super Bowl. And that was Brady. And Brady loves that guy and looks out Yo, for and him. Now, now they are cooking. And now yeah. he's cooking Please. this year. But Gronk had, was retired. Mm -hmm. Didn't really have a great game until the Super Bowl. 
And he just did it. Dude, you, I think, told me this. He was texting the team before the Super Bowl oh, yeah. every day at the exact same yeah. time. We, in all caps, will win. There's mm-hmm. a leadership component to, like, the greatness that, yeah. like, I really value. Yeah. With, mm-hmm. yeah. like, Brady, where it's, like, he's the best leader. Like, guys want to be around him, and yeah. he wants to, like, be a shepherd to these fucking guys. Yeah. Whereas, like, you right. hear people talk about Jordan, they're like, oh, it's a fucking a nightmare. Fucking I didn't want to be a part of it. I yeah. wanted to leave. Like, Leonard Fournette got cut by whoever drafted him, then came to the Bucks and had a, then was good. Mm. Was Antonio Brown. Jaguars? Yeah, Jaguars. Yeah, yeah. Antonio Brown was, people were like, he's not worth the fucking trouble. Came, struggled at first, but then in the Super Bowl, in the biggest moment, Brady's like, I'll find you. We're good. Mm. We just know what he was capable of, though. Yeah, like, I mean, he was arguably like, the best wide receiver yeah. in the game. Yeah. So it's not like they had nothing. And he was out of the league for a year and a half. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, all these things, it's just, yeah. in the same way we give Jordan, like, credit for, of course he's not as good on the Wizards. He wasn't in the league for two years. Mm-hmm. Antonio Brown wasn't in the league for two years, basically. Mm. And then he went to the Bucks, and then was... Well, if we can uh, transition to talk about real sports for a second, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, uh, e gaming, right? That's what it's called. <laughs> yes. E-gaming? Yes. Yes. Is that yes. what the kids are calling it? Yes. E- uh, Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite. Epic Games uh, has won a lawsuit against Apple. I don't know how that's fucking possible. Good for them. You don't take down Apple in no. a lawsuit. The FBI couldn't beat Apple in a lawsuit, mm. right? The FBI was like, can we get up in these phones? And, you're like, nah. and they're like, go fuck yourself. Mm. Yeah. Well, Epic Games, who makes Fortnite, was trying to get some bread on the side, mm-hmm. right? Apple's a dealer. Apple's like, yo, if you want to sell drugs, you got to do it over here in, in Amsterdam. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And as long as you sell drugs on my fucking block, you got to give me 30%. Yeah. And that's 30% of whatever comes in. And their block is the Apple Store. Mm-hmm. So Apple don't give a fuck if you got Spotify or if you got any of these other apps because they know they're getting 30% of whatever comes in on that Apple Store. Mm-hmm. And then Epic Games, Fortnite, was basically like, yo, but we want to sell some shit within the game. They already got it from you when you bought it, but you don't need to take what happens in the game. Yeah. Like, we already Which got you in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, why, why are you taking 30%? That's a little crazy, mm-hmm. right? And they tried to set up their own little, um, I guess, like a e-commerce business, like almost like economy within the game. You get to buy, I think, V-Bucks, they're called or something mm. like that. I got to look up the exact name. And Apple was like, nah, you cutting that shit down. If you selling pussy over here, we get a percentage. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And this is like the digital game currency that people use to like buy the sleeves and stuff mm-hmm. for characters, right. et cetera. Right. It's really the first crypto when you kind of think of it. Yeah. It just doesn't fluctuate in the same way. Right. But mm. it's a fake currency that you can use to buy nothing. But it's buying real things to the consumer. Well, I yeah, guess yeah. crypto is like NFTs are real things. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. In a way, right? Yeah. So uh so they sued and I guess a fucking judge sided with them. And this is this is kind of big because now all these apps that were giving up 30% of whatever they made within the game to Apple, now they're all gonna come out and be like Okay, we're going to sell our shit. Yeah, this hurts Apple. I'm this curious, is- actually, what happened to their stock price after this. I would assume Ooh. people are like, oh, fuck, that's going to hurt their bottom line a good amount, I assume. Interesting. They just lost not 30% of income, but a decent chunk of income. Because that's their whole business strategy, Apple. I think their whole thing is like, we're going to lean into the Apple store, yeah. or the app store, rather. Right. We don't give a fuck about like creating these different devices. Like yeah. We don't care about Apple Music as much as we care about the store because we'll just get a piece of everybody's mm. thing. We'll yeah. own the internet landscape, and then whatever happens here, we'll get a little bit of it. So now we don't They're have like to... Like a mafia boss. Exactly. I don't yeah. need to find my own hustles. I just need you to find a hustle, and I'll make... I don't yeah. need to make a restaurant to compete with you. Yeah. I get a piece of every restaurant. Yeah. 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 Apple's down 3.5% in the last five days. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So, I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? What is the... I think it's a valid case. It was a little wild. Like, you, I didn't... Once you explained it, I was like, yeah, you shouldn't get money on the in-app purchases. No. Just because they're using... They use the Apple Store to buy it. You get your kickback. But now, it's my app. No. Nah. You don't get that money. Like, Apple made the avenue for you to purchase this game. I eat off that. Yeah. If you wanted some shit to do outside, hey... Find a way for them to buy your game without going through my app store. Well, here's the thing that's interesting. They said that you couldn't even uh, include links and stuff within your app that would take you outside of the app store for you to make those purchases. Mm -hmm. So they started like kicking out all those links where they could do like in game purchases Mm -hmm. because they're like, nah, fam, you're gonna, we're gonna make sure we eat on anything that comes over here. I think it's, I don't know, like, I understand Apple because they're like, hey, listen, we're going to create the marketplace. We're going to put a lot of money into the marketplace, and it's going to be so easy for people to buy your games. We're going to make it so simple for them. you got to protect it against uh, 
Packers against this and that. There's a ton of maintenance. I just yeah. think I just think the number's too high. Thirty percent. What? Yeah. That's just they got greedy. They got what, greedy. What if it's like thirty percent of the app, and then once you're in game, it's ten percent. Yeah. I don't think any of them are balking at ten percent. But when you go thirty and it's already in the game, thirty percent of in app, I don't even. Thirty percent of the app, I don't mind. Yeah, you to buy yeah. the app. Yeah, but, take thirty percent. You, you but once you're it. inside. Take a smaller cut. Yeah. Actually, and if it was 10, most apps are free, so they can't make money, so I'd be like, fine. If it, mm. my app is free and you get 10% of in-app purchases, it's fine. But 30, no. It seems no. egregious, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. What is it? What is also, fat 30% of slaughter? nothing. If without the Apple Store, it's 30% of nothing. That's true, and they're hosting your shit for free, right? Yeah. They're not charging nothing to host. They're hosting, and then if your game happens to blow up, you got to pay off. But all the games that don't blow up, they're just taking that on the fucking arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like monopolistic type shit. Like, it's them or Android, and basically you're saying, we're not going to let you have any other way on our phone. Yeah. So you're going to have to give us 30%. Wait, are you trying to say that Apple's like a shrewd businessman? <laughs> yeah, but I'm, no, I'm saying America is going to fight against any monopolistic shit, yeah, yeah, so you're I'm not going to have a valid, that. yeah. Yeah, we will fight against a monopolistic practice Do if it know? hurts the consumer. That's what I've realized about us. Like, there's no question, like, Amazon is a monopolistic practice, uh, but it helps the consumer. Yeah. So, all we really care about is ourselves, right? If we're sitting back at home and we get to get the, you know, the package, right? If we get to get the fucking package delivered right to our door instead of going across the street to buy the book at Barnes and Noble. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper, we'll do it. Yeah, it's just so weird though. Like, for example, there's, I, I have the Amazon app on my phone and I bought, the, I got the Amazon app for free and then I downloaded a, a virtual book on the Amazon app and I read the book, but I paid money to Amazon for it, even though it's hosted on Apple servers. You know what I mean? So, like, the book I'm, is hosted on Apple servers. Break that part down. Or, like, the app, like the Amazon app, like the Kindle app yep, yep, is yep. on Amazon servers. Amazon servers. Or not- I'm sorry, it's on Apple. Like, I bought it through the App Store. Got, got, gotcha. So the book, that money. Yeah. So I did an in-app purchase through the app store. And 30% of that goes to Apple. Uh, yeah. is, is that, I'm imagining right, yeah, that's yeah. what So that now is. I'm wondering, yeah. is, the, is the precedent that Amazon can come back and say, yo, we're not giving you anything. Well, that's why this is a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Because once one company's Wait, not going to Wait, they're getting 30% out. of every purchase? So like, even if I buy something through the like Amazon store, if I buy groceries on the Amazon app. That's what I'm wondering. That's going to Apple. And then my that question is. crazy. That seems crazy. That's my question. Is, point. Why no are all these. They're getting 30% of everything. Yeah, that and seems crazy. On top of that, all these guys push their app. If I was losing 30% of every in-app purchase, I'd be like, nah, you could buy this shit. I would go so far as to say. On the regular say web server. They couldn't profit. Because the food that you buy at Whole Foods yeah. is not priced differently on Amazon when you buy it. Right. Yeah. Right? right? It's not like there's a 30% hike Mm-mm. that they could pay over. To. They can't afford to give 30%. So there has to be something else going on. That's what I'm wondering. Or each company negotiates their own deal. Rate, yeah. And Amazon is like, you're going to give this to us for nothing. And Apple's like, you're right about that. Or yeah. I wonder if there's a virtual product thing where like, if it's a virtual product that exists in your store... Uh, and there's no competition like it only exists in uh, your app then we get something whereas but that's where i wonder with like the virtual book like i'm buying a virtual book there's no way amazon gets 30 percent or apple gets 30 percent. yeah 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 it just yeah, seems yeah. so weird but like airbnb i'm putting money into this yep the, the apple's not getting any of it they have to get something yeah, that's the so business model they the gotta cut get a piece. varies per it does. yeah okay. it varies by the company Interesting. So that's what you work out so like they get 30 percent of many digital in that purchases. Yeah. So this is so what this is really a negotiation for the percentage. Mm. They mm. know eventually they're going to get some sort of cut. Right. Mm. And they can't risk it being kick, kick, kicked off the Apple like uh, App Store yeah. because they'll lose too much money anyway. Mm. So they're like, "All right, you're going to take a smaller percentage." It's just interesting. But if they right? won the lawsuit, then they don't have to pay any percentage, right? Well, if Apple tries to kick them out of the thing, then couldn't they just go back to the same judge and say they've kicked us out now? I think you're allowed yeah, I mean, to. I think Apple is just allowed to put whoever they want on there. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it's a private business. It's not like it's a um, utility or something right. like that, right? But uh, I would love to see Apple's next move. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, going to be. Gonna, they're, they're are they going to appeal, appeal they, or are yeah. they going to just kick them off? I think like, they just appeal and they, they let the fucking lawyers. I think I bet you it. they appeal. They settle outside of court, and then they can't use that as the precedent yeah. for the future shit. Because if you yeah. if it's decision, oh, yeah. so I bet you they try to repeal the decision. Yeah. And then they'll settle outside. And the precedence thing is interesting. Like, explain precedence. So basically, like, if a judge rules on something, to yes. my knowledge, yeah. then it can be used as a precedent for future cases. Yeah. So Whereas, other companies yeah. can go, look at the decision yeah, yeah, yeah. that happened right there. We want the same ruling. We want the Whereas same. Whereas if they settle outside, even if it's the decision that the judge would have put forward. Doesn't matter. It can't be applied. You didn't establish but, a precedent. Mm, exactly. And they can put, like, NDAs in there. We'll all find out what it is. Yeah. But. Legally speaking. Legally speaking, there is no precedence mm-hmm. for them to do mm. it. 
I don't know. It's just, it's kind of interesting. It's like, I know we put out the fucking episode, the NFTs are gay, whatever like that. And like, they don't exist. Uh, they, they're not real. But the more that I've been like, just kind of like digesting content, understanding like what things are, like how humans interact with things. Something doesn't have to be real for us to believe it is. Like we make things real and we ascribe value to things that do not have value. Right. Mm -hmm. And we do this all the time. And I think the NFT jump is the first time we've done this to something that isn't actually there. Right. So it's like, uh, a Jordan sneaker is has no more value than like a regular Air Max sneaker, right? In terms of like the material used, the value is added, and it's us. It's the marketing of us believing in Jordan and valuing Jordan, or it's the value of us believing other people think Jordan's cool. Mm -hmm. So now we do, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever we decide is real becomes real and has value. You've seen this happen with diamonds. You see, everybody's, oh, the diamonds trade is so controlled. And that's why, even if they let all the fucking diamonds out, diamonds would still have some value because of what we've put onto it. We've created the romanticism of like, oh, you must be engaged with a diamond and putting on a girl's wrist. So even if you flooded the market in the same way that they flooded the market with money during the pandemic, even if you release a fucking stimulus of diamonds, how much did that stimulus really affect the value of the dollar? Mm. It's shocking how mm. there's not tons of inflation. There should be so much inflation for the injection of capital yeah. that they put in our economy. Okay. The fact that there's, there was some. There, that there's such a minute amount lets you know that this game is really just a confidence game. Once we just go, as long as there are more goods than there is money to buy, money will maintain, uh, uh, currency will maintain its value, right? And I'm assuming they calculated that. Of course. Like they're, they're giving away money being like, we can inject X amount and mitigate inflation by this much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But also the most important thing is we got to stop looking at economy as like, you have this many things, you're rich, right? It's really how many things are you buying? Because when you think about it, when the pandemic hit, it's not like there was less money in the economy. It's not like we took money and burned it when the right. pandemic came. There was mm -hmm. the same amount of money there. Mm. It was just a consumption that shrunk. Yeah. So they flooded the, the economy so that where there would be more consumption. And that is what's really fueling consumption and consumer confidence. And that's what's happening with the NFTs, right? Mm -hmm. It might not be real, yeah. but as long as the consumption is there and the consumer confidence is there, all of a sudden it just becomes whatever fucking real is, right? So it's like, I don't know, I'm seeing this like NFT like hustle going on. What I really think it is is, is a way to like pump and dump Ethereum. But you can't just say, hey, buy Ethereum. I mean, some of it is. Some of it. Right, right. Uh, not to speak in like complete extremes, but like you can't say, buy, uh, buy these NFTs. And then people go, oh, how do I do it? Oh, you have to buy Ethereum to do it? Oh, okay. Now Ethereum goes up. It's mm. a worthy investment. If you're somebody who is an Ethereum billionaire, very worthy investment to give some, uh, some popular uh, figures in social media $50 million to go buy NFTs with. And then uh, Ethereum goes up 10% and you only had to spend 2% of your Ethereum to get an 8% return. Anybody does that every day of the week. But the fact that people are starting to buy into it and believe the hype and want to have an NFT and want to make it their profile picture, this could be a real thing. You know, it's like, it's like your belief in crypto, right? You may know more than the average person about like what makes these different cryptos valuable, Barely, if at all. Barely, right? <laughs> but you believe people believe. That's all I believe. Yes. And I believe people will believe. And that's all that matters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. if you're the fucking, like, if you're the leader of a country and you maybe are not religious, but you believe people believe, mm. please believe you're going to use that religion to control some people. Mm. Yeah. Right? And that is fucking crypto. And that is these NFTs. I will never so understand like, the X's and O's of pretty much anything, but I think I know people. And I think I know people are going to continue to believe in NFTs at a larger clip, continue to believe in Bitcoin at a larger clip. I just I could very well be wrong, but these are these are my hunches. I, look, it looks as if your hunches are right. My hunch was, and maybe I'm way more conservative with investing in things that I can't actually control, but my hunch was like, the FCC or somebody is going to come in here and knock this shit all out. That's a fear I have still. But you know what should kind of make you feel a little bit better? I think enough rich people are invested. Yeah. And rich people dictate the economic policy. Yeah. Not the FCC. Rich point. people go, hey, buddy, I got, I'm up 50% on my crypto. 
you know, whatever person who runs the fucking, you know, monetary policy in America and the rest of the Western country. Hey, we're not getting rid of these fucking coins. OK, yeah, it's not hurting anybody. I'm a 50 percent. I'd like to keep that fucking money. So the, the, the more invested when Visa buys an NFT, like the more invested the institutions get yeah. in crypto, the more fucking real and safe it becomes. It's kind of crazy, even though we all know it's a farce. It's nothing. Yeah. But it's it, fucking nothing. in my mind, couldn't walk me through how this conversation didn't happen with the dollar hundreds of years ago. Uh, maybe in the 70s. Because before that, you could get gold, right? Ah, uh, okay. And, okay. And so now, once they remove the gold standard, it's like, what do you... But here's the thing. Can you ever remove a gold standard if I can just buy gold with dollars? Mm. Mm. I mean, yeah, because then you... It's not pegged. Yeah, each thing is is varying. And you could theoretically... The dollar could fluctuate. Can you flip the same argument for Bitcoin? Is like, if how fake is Bitcoin if I could sell a Bitcoin for $45,000? As long as there's a consumer for it. Yeah. And then the idea is eventually, like, they either remove the marketplace or enough people feel like you can't sell it. Mm-hmm. Like it's made illegal in enough places where it's like, okay, it's only legal in El Salvador. I don't think they got enough rich motherfuckers in El Salvador yeah. to buy the rest yeah. of our shit. I'm just saying the investment in consumer confidence, no matter what it is, a fucking NFT, a sleeve in a video game, a fucking podcast, whatever the people find valuable, if enough people find it valuable, it becomes real. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. We might not like BTS or that fucking K-pop band. We might not understand it. If enough people like it, that is popular music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enough people wear baggy jeans, that is yeah. the thing. Like, All fashion is is confidence in what people are doing. And it, it's like enough tastemakers doing a thing. Yeah. What fa- It's NFT. It's like enough. We were telling this in the car. Baggy jeans should be more expensive than skinny jeans because it takes more material. <laughs> if we're just getting going off yeah. of the material, they yeah, should yeah. cost more. When they're not cool, they cost less. Yeah. When they are cool, they cost more, right? It's the consumer confidence that dictates the price. And to tie fashion to this, it's like every new fashion that's ever come around, like now when skinny jeans first came, I was like, this looks so fucking stupid. This looks unbelievably stupid. Now I'm using skinny jeans. I'm looking at baggy jeans like, that looks so fucking stupid. What was I thinking when I wore <laughs> what that? What the fuck <laughs> is that? That's not yeah. a thing. Yeah. But that's that's what this Bitcoin shit was to me. It's what the fuck is that? That's not so stupid. It's going to go away, right? It's got to go away. Look what they did with fashion. Like when they want to make something cool, I'm sure the companies reach out to the influencers. They're reaching yep. out to Bieber. Mm-hmm. They're reaching out to Ariana. They're reaching out to all these different people. And they're like, hey, we would love to put the Kardashians. We want to put you in our stuff. And then all of a sudden, the rest of us see that and they go, oh, I guess this is a new cool thing. That's no different than crypto. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, how do I get the influencers? If I'm someone who runs crypto, not runs, but a big time investor, if I'm the Winkle Vosses, yeah. I'm going, how do I get these market makers to be invested? Yeah. How do I explain to a Logan Paul? How do I explain to, I'm not talking about Pompliano, right? Because Pompliano is going to feed the people who are really into crypto already. Ashton Kutcher and his wife. How do Mila I get Kunis Ashton? Like, how do I get, guys. exactly, like the, the casuals to be into it? And... Uh, they've done it fucking, they've done it well. And maybe this is a 20 year process. I don't know how long, you know, the coins have been around, but like, it's just, it's just amazing how we can just make something literally out of nothing. Oh, you said was, watching Dove Truffle in person. This is a was absolutely thing. phenomenal. Okay? okay. This was absolutely phenomenal. All right. I didn't even know it was happening until it was the middle of it. Like, you know, when like you don't pay attention when your girl's talking, and then you're halfway through a story, you're like, all right, well, I got to figure this out. Yeah, he's yeah, committed yeah, to a yeah. huge gotta, trip, and yeah. you're like, don't name the store so we can go back. No, no, I'm naming the store because it's that much <laughs> better. So, you know, Ame? Uh, yeah. Ame Leon Doré, or whatever yeah, right. it is. Uh, great store. Love the stuff. Um, <laughs> we're going, <laughs> we're going. I'm like, actually, they have a, a fuck, the best coffee in the city. I'm being, it's like called, like, it's like the 217 or something like that. It's at the Ame store. In Nolita, it's the best coffee. There's a specific one. It's called the 217 or something like that. Oh, yeah, Cafe what? Leon Dior. Yes. yes. Yeah, so it is the best. Now. I'm being honest with you. It's a bougie. It's a fucking hype beast clothing store. No, I'm coffee. talking about you and your coffee shit. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Come we got to get the pink blue bottle or whatever the fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> like, go to Starbucks. Why bro? you got another color, dog? Why you got another <laughs> no, color? For it no was reason. like, oh, like, let's go get some. Let's get some fancy fucking. It had enough colors, bro. Coffee that just comes in a glass. Starbucks cut up in price. Yeah, Starbucks. What? Starbucks is expensive now. 
Do you it's order the same, the same price, coffee? B? Same like, price. come on. We You're so bougie, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bougie, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we bougies. Get a bougie out here. All right, so boom. So we out here, and we go to the, and we go there, and I'm just standing outside, and there's a, we walk up to like the cafe part, and she's like, oh, there's actually the line over there. The line is fucking huge just to get a coffee. It's fashion week. Everybody's in the city. People want to hang out. The whole thing. You're not gonna stand for that. We don't. We're not gonna stay for the line. I turn around. Dove is talking to this guy. The guy walks over to me. He goes, hey, this is Andrew. Uh, and he goes, yeah, can I get you guys anything? Like, oh, yeah, we'll have these coffees. Order. Gets us the table. And we're sitting down. I'm like, what just happened? He goes, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I've never met that guy in my life. I go, what? The guy walked us over and he said, oh, great seeing you. He goes, I was like, how did you fucking pull this off? He just knew that the guy was the guy for the store. Like he was like the manager. He thought he was like the owner, but he, he just knew because he was walking around there. And he walked up to him as if he should know him. So he walked up and he goes, he wow. goes, I just start saying buzzwords, right? He goes, I just walked up. He goes, he goes, hey, man, how are you? We just got back in town, man. We're doing these shows over at the Fillmore and in Detroit and Milwaukee. But it's good to be back. Stuff is crazy right now. Just preparing for this special and everything like that. But how are you, man? And the guy doesn't so want to he not. Can't, he can't say, I don't know you. Here's the thing. He doesn't want to not know a Legend. person that seems like they should be known. Yeah. yeah. Everybody fall like you ever have somebody like act like they know who you are, yeah. not even act like they know who you are, and you're like, oh, Fuck. we're friends. I'm but gonna not keep- in a famous yeah. way. Like I'm not pretending. But like, it's also he doesn't fashion know Andrew. Week. I recognize he, he name drop. It's bit. also he acts like he didn't name drop. It's a little name. It's, so, him he, look at you, didn't it's know also him. fashion week. So you might not have known me, but it was a name drop. There you can't drop. if imagine there's all kinds of important motherfuckers walking around. Exactly. It's fashion week. Exactly. I can't. Well, he, he must be important. Who gives a fuck? And he was in the middle of a group. I interrupted him while he was in the group, so it was like extra confidence. It was like it was like that scene in Hitch, but for truffles instead of bitches. Yes. So I was I I would do this in Vegas to like door guys right but this was so audacious because it was like this is somebody that you're gonna see you're gonna go shop at this place like eh, not anymore yeah probably (laughs) even like now it's like a real connection so the guy it fucking perfectly works he just acted as if the person should know him but without going like hey how are you more just like Ugh, yeah, we just got back into town. Like, you're almost finishing a sentence from the last time you spoke. Yeah. And the guy fell right into it. That's so Let crazy. us cut that the fucking so line, get to the seat. You're yeah, not afraid so. of the rejection? Because in my mind, the guy's going to look at me and go, do I know you? Say what you said. This was great. Be- I don't think Say he what believes. You said. First of all, you guys understand, with he all should- my girl successes, I'm not afraid of rejection because of the amount of times I've been rejected in my life is stellar high number. You have to get rid of that part of it. How many? How many? <laughs> I mean, are we in the, nah, the quadruple digits? Son. He doesn't even. Dove's a shooter. Dove's a shooter, bro. He you don't shoot. feel. I don't feel like I got rejected. They just have his. Antoine Walker. Discover me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just don't know. Okay, exactly. but go yeah. on. What were we talking? About? Girls or coffee? No, no, the coffee thing. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> but you, no, there was a specific thing that you said. You were like, I'm putting him in the position where he doesn't want to let me down. Yeah. He, he. I want to. I want to believe that he's like excited that i'm there now or this uh, he's connected and and we're just finishing whatever last conversation we had so like or at a club or walking in a door you want me in that club son you want me in that coffee so shop. impressive we go out last night in uh milwaukee and and granted it's milwaukee it's not new york yeah. but still we just any place we went to long ass line and we just like sick dove on him like dove go get him <laughs> we just there off in the side and just watch wait for the Come on over. So what's yeah. the strategy? Two places. Like, do you two make places it up? we just walk right in. But that, I don't okay, know that was something said. else. That was something else. So we had our little stickers, our little backstage passes from the Paps venue. And it was like on my leg. When we're walking up, I'm like, you know, it's Al. It's he's got the this fit. Guy's calling he looks like a star. Line. He's Tom and Brady Al, at Triple. No, but Al's super smart. People that walk next to me, I'm like, stay the yeah, fuck nah, away from me 10 you gotta feet look back important, and let me look the like the fucking yeah. Jewish manager. I moved the sticker Buzz to like words. my shirt. So, it, so I know that it's an eyeline for them. I'm like, what's this little badge that says all access and blah, blah, blah. Start shooting with, but you got to hit him quick and you can't wait in line. If like you got to, he's talking to someone, you got to interrupt that conversation. And I put, kind of put a little fear in my eyes. Like, Oh my God, I'm keeping out waiting right there. And Al does it perfectly. He and Derek are chatting up. Vala's even playing the part with a cigarette in the corner. And they just need to stand in their little thing, be seen, mm-hmm. and then I'll call you when you're ready. And Damn. then that's it. Legend. What? Legend. 
legend. And do you have a different strategy for every place every you go? Every time. I, like I you said before, you make it up on the fly, you gotta, dog. You got to be it's 10 different mind. characters. Yeah. I'm not an asshole. No, sometimes so I can be tough. Sometimes you were on the phone. I was <laughs> handling this hotel. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it was funny. It was we just go to... all, just be different folks. But my intention but how do you is like, know what works? I'm not taking anything from these guys. Like, you just these, this club talking. wants you... these guys in there. If you yeah, believe this it, coffee it's shop, we're the Lolita locals. That we're not going to How do you learn this? Dub is Bitcoin, yeah. How do you? How do you learn this? He believes when it. When I was a kid, like my mom would like, she'd get a parking ticket. I was like 12. So go argue this parking ticket. Yeah. Go look like a oh, victim. <laughs> Pretend I don't speak English. Like, but no. Uh, Pers I, Persians, and I'll get shout out to Persians listening. Uh, the, the Persians were the, some of the original trufflers. And my policy is like, I never, I've never stolen anything. But I'll like get mm. in. I'll get a hookup. This is, I'll do whatever. This is how you learn it. You exist in a place... LA where everybody is trying to get uh, clout and connectivity to fame. Like everybody in LA, I don't care if you're the fucking door guy, the Pilates instructor. I don't care if you run a fucking cycling class, everybody there wants to be famous and they think that they're this close to fame. And hmm. once somebody's presented with the feeling as if they could be that close, they'll do anything. Mm -hmm. So that guy at the door, that's not their dream. The guy that even the bouncers there. Yeah. Right? Like everybody there, they feel like they're this close. So if you give them that access point and you make them feel as if they should, mm. they'll do anything to Bingo. fulfill that prophecy. Right. Mm. And that's the Vegas thing. The Vegas people, like, I'm sure you're doing fucking incredible in Vegas. Vegas people, they meet thousands of people every single week. So if you go up to a door guy in Vegas and act like he should know who you are and say the right things. Why would he not believe that you guys have met and that he showed you the night of your life? Hmm. Why would he not? But there's no way hmm. that you aren't that person. Just walking right up to him. Dude, great to see you, my man. Yeah, we're back. Unfortunately, he's poker tournaments. Or unfortunately, you know, hmm. summer league, whatever. And then he just does this buzzword stuff, which is so great. He's not even saying sentences. He's just saying the things that are going on. Hmm. Yeah, Netflix yeah. has us back out here again. I know. I gotta get no, the fucking guys, whatever. So like impressive. literally, I Netflix. Know. This, yeah, we have this. Blah blah blah. The team is everything like that. So I'm taking out a couple guys from the team and everything like that. But yeah, so whatever. Boom, and then you're in. Good oh, to see. You. Are we good to go or something? Yeah, yeah, nothing. I've never greased one door guy oh, this in is my the, entire this life. This is That's great. Crazy. So the back to the LA thing is like I'm 2021. 20, I'm going out. You to the pay clubs. the door guy. You pay every time to every get in. Every time. And it sets your tone differently. What uh, you need to do is find your way. You shouldn't in. be in there. That's why you're paying. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't go. You're tipping him to let someone who shouldn't be in there be in there. Yeah. If you're not tipping the door guy and he lets you in, he goes, he must be it. God, for why did I make him wait? It's my job to make sure guys like this are in. Yeah. So Dumb. find a way to get in. I wish and I once you're 20s, in, bro. don't make an exit. Focus on the exit with the person that you know is going to be there the next time. It's the promoter. It's not usually the bodyguard, but like, or the, the bouncer, but like a promoter that's there. There is a way to have that chat, get to know them, who, what they're all about, like what's their other side hustle, and it's connected to something that you do. Just that one minute conversation in an organic way will serve you for a, a year at that club. <laughs> that's all it takes. Present so you always thing. you do the, the hustle on the way out. Now just get in the first time. You need to be more time. Jews with how good you guys sell. You know what I mean? Like you'd think you'd convert more people, like get them on board. They don't want to like, convert. Yeah, they no. don't. Because the they've been people. around each other. <laughs> <laughs> like we need to confine this yeah. to people we love and we're close well, to. Well, if they're the chosen people, you can't have more chosen people. But yeah, who can they take advantage of? <laughs> they one. need mm, the goys and the Muslims true. around there so they can be like, hey, Jeffrey, how you doing? It's mm. good to be back. Well, let me trick this dumb fucking yeah. <laughs> Christian yeah. to let me into the club. <laughs> <laughs> we, go, we go to another spot and it was like, even though it was a huge spot, it was packed, but there wasn't much of a line, and he looked disappointed. He didn't have to try. Like, to he travel. was disappointed. He was like, "Fuck!" Well, then shout out to that place. Oh, Trinity, the, Trinity. We had they some, actually uh, that all recognize flagrant fans Alan. in there. Respect, Trinidad. respect. Yeah, yeah, they hooked us up. I'm about to piss myself, guys. Is there anything else? Biden came out, and he gave some rules on. I have them down here because I don't want to get them wrong. But uh, a, a vaccine mandate. All federal employees. Uh, local government, state em employees have to get the vaccine. Mm -hmm. No options. Mm. And then I believe at a certain size company, you either have to get the vaccine. Companies yeah. with more than 100, 100 workers 100 require 100 vaccination or weekly testing. Yeah. I like that they do or weekly. Or weekly testing, I like. 
Yes. Uh, there's something different about like forcing someone to have something in their body. Yes. And just taking a test to make sure that you don't have it. Yeah. Correct. I like that as an option. I'm with yeah. That. They should have made it limited. Fake like it's limited. Like with the diamonds, they should have did that with the vaccine. Everybody would have. Mm. Well, that's that's that what was I was that, saying early. Yeah, that's what they were doing in the on, beginning. It was mad hard. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said early. Was rushing to get that shit. Yeah, like, yeah you oh, have white people going to the ghetto. Like, you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm just saying. People. How you argue you against yourself? <laughs> 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 listen, have you listened to this bro. podcast? I know, that's bro. All we do. <laughs> Say one thing, completely refute it. You know what I mean? Rhinoceros is a trash animal. Imagine. Rhinoceros sucks, bro. Rome sucks, bro. Like getting animals to the Coliseum, the easiest fucking thing ever you do. That sucks, bro. That is incredibly hard. No, Stop fam, it. The fam, difficulty fam, that is crazy. Fam, fam, fam. All <laughs> you got to do is wait for it to be baby, snatch it from the mom, and then you just put that shit on a boat. Wait, oh, and what happens when you snatch it? What happens when you snatch it? So, so you throw one baby out of some shit. It's dumb easy. It's the easiest but thing. But think you of what it took to think of that. Son. You don't got nothing to do. You don't got the internet. Yo, you don't got yo. Instagram. Yo. All you got to do is sit on your fucking yo. ass, nigga. Uh, I'm arguing with fire. I'm losing so, so, so much confidence. So, no, so. I'm, I'm so sure I'm right. As I'm arguing his point, I'm like, yeah. this shit is weak. Yo, we could have done this, this bit for a little longer. No, Y'all could have let me relish in this bit for a little longer. He was killing it. It's been flavored too. Fuck them. Fuck him. Fuck that. I hope you both get dealt it and lambda. We out. Nosebleed free, bitches.